Chapter 2201 Winds Peak The Protector of the Martial Heaven Continent, the elusive music Immortal Palace, also wishes to participate in this battle demanded Tianzizinavalun.com I only represent myself. Zi Yan shook her head. The elusive music Immortal Palace and the Divine Ice Palace were the protectors of the Martial Heaven Continent. They had never participated in worldly struggles and normally only took action when the Dark Era was coming. Another situation would be if there was someone capable of threatening the entire Martial Heaven Continent. Then they would also take action. According to that reasoning, Zi Yan should be taking action now in order to target Long Chen, not help him. Then don't blame me for this. Tian Zizi suddenly spat a mouthful of blood on the soul summoning banner. The power of the corrupt god erupted out of it, and a desolate world appeared behind him. That world was filled with rotting warriors from the ancient era. Their weapons and armor were all broken down and decayed. This, is this the corrupt god cemetery? Upon seeing that desolate world filled with endless graves, startled cries rang out. Those ancient warriors crawled out of their graves. They began to roar furiously, forming a giant army that charged out. They were all filled with the aura of decay and death, but the pressure they gave off terrified even the Nether Passage experts. These are the corrupt puppets from the corrupt path's ancient era. Just before their masters died, they buried them here. Now they are being summoned once more, said someone. Zi Yan lightly plucked the strings of her zither. In the past, her zither music was smooth like the flowing clouds and water. But this time, her music contained the intent to slaughter. Every time she plucked a string, a ripple would spread out of the seven-string sea suppressing zither. Everyone saw that wherever those ripples passed, the laws of the heavenly deos transformed. Runes of the Grand Dao condensed into runic swords. Those runic swords shot through the air like lightning, tearing through the void with a sharp sound. That sound resonated with the zither music, adding a mournful tone to it. The runic sword stabbed through the corpse puppets and blew them to bits. But even as they died, they didn't let out any howls of pain. Instead, they seemed relaxed and even grateful. The souls that had been enslaved for countless years were finally set free, returning to heaven and earth, returning to the cycle of reincarnation. The zither music began to pick up, growing more intense. The laws of the world condensed into a giant manifestation behind Zi Yan. Within that manifestation was another woman playing the zither. However, this woman wasn't wearing white robes like her but a black dress. She emitted an endless air of slaughter. That woman also had the seven-string sea suppressing zither in front of her. Their movements were identical, but the sound that came from them wasn't exactly the same. The zither music from the woman within her manifestation was much bloodier. How? How could she have awakened this manifestation when Zi Yan's manifestation appeared? The seniors of the elusive music Immortal Palace were badly shocked, including the current palace master. The palace master was also Zi Yan's formal master. She looked toward an old woman behind her. Grand Aunt Master, that old woman's face was covered in wrinkles, and her voice was hoarse. Zi Yan's manifestation has always been divine music through eternity. That's the only heaven soul manifestation of our immortal palace. However, now it's suddenly changed. I can't explain it either. However, that woman within her manifestation, although her face isn't clear, her aura is very similar to one of our ancestors. You're referring to, yes, the ninth divine emissary. She did not walk the path of using music to peer into the heavens. She is an existence that walked the path of slaughter. The old woman nodded her expression a bit dark. The appearance of this manifestation was outside all their expectations. As the zither music played, the runic swords pierced through the air. When she plucked the zither strings, it was like she was drawing a bow shooting out the runic swords. The zither music followed the swords as they flew through the air, and the tempo grew faster and faster until it was a torrent of slaughter. The corpse puppets that Tian Zizi had summoned could be described as endless but they couldn't keep up with Zi Yan's attack. Tian Zizi was well and fully blocked. The peak geniuses had now been blocked, but the other experts of the various powers were still charging forward. The stone races and the blood emperor's family's experts were particularly crazy. Due to the appearance of their ancestral heroic spirits, their bodies were currently bathed in divine light, giving them even greater power. Kill them all. 
The Stone Race's leader was the first to arrive at the Dragonblood Legion. Their top experts, Long Chen, Mo Nian, Wild, and Guo Ran were currently fighting the Stone Emperor's heroic spirit. This was the Dragonblood Legion's weakest moment. Blood Emperor's descendants, use your weapons to wreak their lives. Vengeance for the Emperor's daughter, exterminate them, shouted the Shu'e family's head. Kill, the Shu'e family, the Stone Race, the Dongfang family, the ancient races, the corrupt path. The Ancient Family Alliance, the Xuan Beasts, Hill Valley, all the experts of these powerful forces charged. This was their best chance to exterminate the Dragonblood Legion. You think you're capable of destroying the Dragonblood Legion? Gu Yang sneered. The Dragonblood Legion pulled back, contracting into their absolute defense formation. Ignorant brat, you'll pay the price for your actions today, shouted the Stone Race's leader. A giant fist image condensed in the air. The fist image had just finished condensing when the sound of a sword coming out of its sheath rang out. A streak of sword light sliced it in half. Yu Zifeng had returned. Long Chen didn't want him fighting the emperors. So he was back to defending this battlefield. Even the stone race's leader wasn't immune to his sword chi. Strong offense but weak defense. I can kill you like killing a chicken the stone race's leader waved his hand. Sending all the stone races experts toward Yu Zifeng. Sword cultivators were weakest to multiple attacks from every angle. As long as one struck, it would be fatal. They had just started moving toward Yu Zifeng when willow branches exploded out of the void. Transforming into millions of sharp swords that shot toward the stone races experts. Lu Ruian's branches were incredibly tough yet still as sharp as blades. The stone races experts were quickly entangled by them. Anyone who ended up bound was trapped. Following that, wooden stakes flew over and pierced them through the head. Those wooden stakes had dark yellow runes on them, and when they stabbed into their heads, they instantly died. Those stakes were clearly made of wood, but they possessed metal energy. Even the stone race's terrifying defenses were unable to block them. Who's there? Raged the stone race's leader. He unleashed a punch, destroying the willow branches. Within the towering willow in front of them, there was a woman sitting lotus style, wooden stakes growing out behind her. It was Chu Yao. Chu Yao's manifestation was active behind her, but Lu Ruian's massive body covered it up. Others couldn't even tell that there was someone hiding within the tree. Her manifestation was of a flourishing world of greenery. There was a long river cutting the world in two. Endless life energy flowed out of it. Life energy that could nourish all things. Life energy that manifested the Tao of life. Her attacks were hidden within Lu Ruian's attacks. Their cooperation was seamless. And in an instant, hundreds of the stone race's experts were slain. There were all the main forces of the stone race. And their deaths infuriated their leader. He charged directly toward Chu Yao. Endless wind moon. He was halfway there when the space in front of him collapsed. An ear-piercing wind blade spun toward him wildly. Boom. The stone race's leader was badly shocked, and he unleashed a punch that destroyed the wind blade. He barely managed to notice the crack that appeared on his fist when he saw the wind blade transform into smaller wind blades that shot toward him. He then jumped. Runes covered his body and formed a powerful armor around him. Like iron striking iron, sparks exploded when those wind blades sliced against his armor. Many thin openings appeared in his body. The stone race's leader was horrified by this. It was his strongest defensive state. In that state, he was unafraid of any weapons. When he had fought with the old man, the heaven-splitting blade had been able to cause some minor damage to his body. But now, these wind blades had sliced him up badly. He turned and saw a white-robed woman standing in the sky. Endless wind blades spun behind her, unleashing a spatial tearing sound. This woman was Tang Wan'er who had immediately used one of her strongest attacks. The first wind blade was just bait, while the aftermath was the true killing blow. She had yet to fully master this technique, so she couldn't lock down her targets. If she couldn't bait someone into striking it head on, it would be useless. Seeing that such a powerful move was unable to cause any real injury to the stone race's leader, Tang Wan'er didn't seem sad at all. She spread her hands a wind blade condensing in each hand. These wind blades were different from before. The two ends curved in opposite directions like an S. They began to spin, 
and the wind blades behind her were sucked in like whales sucking in water. Cracks appeared in the space around the wind blades. The very laws of the world were being sliced apart. Tang Wan'er suddenly pressed the wind blades together, forming a shape. A black hole suddenly appeared in the air. Astral winds raged throughout the sky. The stone race's leader's expression completely changed. He didn't know what level of magical art this technique was, but he knew that if he was struck by it, he might lose his life. With a cold snort, he retreated, not wanting to face her directly. However, at that moment, he was shocked to find that he was bound by willow branches from above and golden wooden stakes from below. Wind Moon Slash Just at this moment, Tang Wan'er's terrifying attack left her hands and slashed straight at the stone race's leader. Chapter 2202 Since you want to die so badly, I'll help you out the stone race's leader roared furiously, and his body began to expand as he tried to tear apart Chu Yao and Lu Ruyan's bindings. However, he underestimated their power. This was a quick tactic they had agreed upon before even fighting him. First, Yu Zifeng slowed him down. Then Lu Ruyan and Chu Ya shocked him, and then Tang Wan'er would draw his attention so that Lu Ruyan and Chu Ya could bind him. Everything had gone smoothly. The stone race's leader struggled with all his might, and while the willow branches and wooden stakes creaked, they didn't break. Boom. Tang Wan'er's wildly spinning wind blade slashed through the stone race's leader's head. A black hole appeared in the void where his head had been. Chu Ya and Lu Ruyan's bindings were sliced apart. Wind blades exploded, cutting apart the stone race's leader's body. His life and death had been decided in an instant. Heavens, every expert was stunned by this. The stone race's leader was someone who stood at the peak of the current era, but he had been slain like this. Even the old man was startled. He had fought against the stone race leader previously and hadn't been able to beat him. Without risking his own life, the old man had no confidence in doing so. That was how powerful in existence the stone race's leader was. But Yu Zifeng, Lu Ruyan, Chu Yao, and Tang Wan'er had managed to kill him very quickly. At this moment, the head of the Shue family arrived from the other direction. He held a water thorn in his hand, and a terrifying blood chi exploded out of him. The one facing him was a fairy who looked like she had walked out of a painting. She stood on Cloud's back. Men Chi was forming rapid seals. The void exploded and the world dimmed. One giant figure after another appeared in the sky. There were ten magical beasts, all as large as mountains. There was a phoenix, a drake, a tortoise, a lightning beast, a sword bone wolf. All of them had auras that made people's hair stand on end. Peak 12th rank magical beasts. The head of the Shue family also jumped in horror. Those ten magical beasts then opened their mouths at the same time. Unleashing ten attacks at the oncoming experts of the Shue family. As a result, even the Shue family's head was unable to block the combined power of ten peak twelfth rank magical beasts. He was instantly blown to bits with no suspense. These ten peak twelfth rank magical beasts were from the wild world. Men Chi had captured them before the battle. Normally, beast tamers could only subdue magical beasts weaker than themselves. Subduing magical beasts on the same level as them was very dangerous, as stronger magical beasts might suddenly turn against their master. That was a common occurrence. As for subduing a magical beast stronger than them, that was even more dangerous. Even for Men Chi, subduing ten of them was her limit. If she tried to subdue any more of them, she wouldn't have enough spiritual strength to maintain a tight enough control over them. As a result, she wouldn't be 100% confident in them following all of her orders. Not only would that reduce her overall combat power, but there would even be some danger of the magical beasts turning on her. These ten magical beasts were perfectly suited to her current power level. Without her spiritual bindings, there was no way these dumb magical beasts could understand how to cooperate like they just had. Furthermore, they had gathered their power for this attack very quickly. Men Chi had drilled them for a long time to use this combined attack. Now that these 10 peak 12th rank magical beasts attacked together, with all their power concentrated together, they killed the head of the Shue family in one blow. Those magical beasts suddenly began to roar and stare at her spiritual bindings. Men Qi's expression changed. After seeing blood, these magical beasts started to enter a berserk state. At this time, 
the best method was to give them some spiritual pill to teach them a lesson. However, now wasn't the time for that. Meng Chi gave them one simple order, and they began to pounce at the incoming experts. These 12th rank magical beasts charged through the experts from the various powers, and those experts fled like the wind. Don't be afraid, they are just brainless magical beasts. Focus on their weaknesses, shouted an expert of the Xuan beasts. He sent an attack at a wind wolf's groin. That wind wolf let out a heaven shaking roar, as half of its extra limb was sliced off. It slammed a paw to the sneak attacker, killing him, and then unleashed a wind sphere through its mouth that blasted through the enemies surrounding it. Although people fled in every direction, quite a few people didn't get away in time and were torn apart. After all, a peak 12th rank magical beast was an existence comparable to a 4th step nether passage expert. Their intelligence was low, but that didn't mean that their pure destructive power was low. Others continued to sneak attack the wolf. One person crushed its gonads which made it roll on the ground. Kill it, seeing a chance. The other experts pounced on it, attacking quickly to make sure it couldn't get back up. No, run, shouted someone. That ancient race expert noticed that the wind wolf started to inflate. Boom, a huge explosion blasted away the surrounding experts. The wind wolf's detonation killed at least 10,000 experts. The remaining nine magical beasts continued to crazily attack, but there were simply too many enemies, and their large bodies made it easy for others to attack their weak spots. Another three were quickly killed, but they also detonated themselves before dying, killing masses of people. With only six left, they were quickly targeted. The experts had grown smarter, focusing on long-range attacks. With only six of them remaining, Menchi was able to control them much easier. She formed rapid hand seals, controlling them in battle. One of the corrupt path's elders had snuck his way behind one of their butts for a sneak attack, only for that magical beast to suddenly raise its leg and squash him into a meat paste. Kill that beast Tamar people began to shout and point at Meng Chi, with her controlling the magical beasts. It was very difficult to sneak attack them. Cloud, you can let the warriors of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race. I have Ruian's protection here. Meng Chi flew off of Cloud's back. The experts of the various powers had started to fight the dragon blood legion. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race needed Cloud to let them. Willow branches descended from the sky, wrapping around Menchi and pulling her into the towering willow. Here, no one could injure her, while she could focus on directing the six magical beasts. The six magical beasts began to fight properly once more, working together. For a while, the enemy was unable to do anything to them. As for the rest of the Dragonblood Legion, they were in an intense battle, facing a tsunami of enemies. They were still fearless. Sword Chi swept through the air. Unfortunately, what they were facing was essentially the strongest forces of the rest of the continent. Under that immense pressure, their formation began to crack. At the core of the formation was Xia Chen controlling things, but even he was helpless. The power of millions of powerful experts attacking at once was just too much. Injuries had started to appear amongst the Dragonblood warriors, but the healing warriors quickly restored their bodies. This was a merciless and bloody battle. The Dragonblood Legion was barely able to protect themselves. But the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race protecting the skies was under immense pressure. And casualties had started to appear amongst them. Of course, on the other side, countless experts were being slain. Their corpses and weapons were piled into mountains. Rivers of blood flowed on the ground. Ha ha ha, how fun. The Dragonblood Legion is actually able to fight a bit. Then let my sea demon race test just how powerful you are. Suddenly, arrogant laughter rang out, and the Dragonblood Warriors' hearts turned cold. That voice was familiar. It was the voice of the six-horned sea serpent man. Heaven and earth shook as the giant sea demon army returned, led by the six-horned sea serpent man. They hadn't really left. Instead, they were planning on letting their two sides fight while they reaped the benefits. Long Chen, aren't you very arrogant? Then let me see just how you save your friends. I'll make sure you personally watch as they die, sneered the six-horned sea serpent man, his manifestation once more appearing. 
he unleashed a powerful punch that actually enveloped the entire Dragon Blood Legion. Chu Yao and Lu Ruian both had a bad feeling, and they joined forces to summon a giant wooden wall. As a result, that wooden wall was smashed to bits. The six horned sea serpent man's power was just too terrifying. Only Long Chen and Wild could contend against him. Boom. The six horned sea serpent man once more unleashed a punch, one that landed on the Dragon Blood Warriors formation. Dozens of the warriors were blown back, coughing up blood, throwing the formation into chaos. Not good. Xia Chen's expression changed. With the formation broken, their enemies could charge in. They wouldn't give the Dragon Blood Legion a chance to set the formation up again. And at that time, every warrior would be fighting for themselves. That would definitely result in many casualties. Ha ha ha. Starting today, the number one Legion of the Martial Heaven Continent is history. The Six Horned Sea Serpent Man laughed and raised his trident. It blazed with light, and he didn't give the Dragon Blood Legion any breathing room. He charged in, up in the sky. Long Chen's hair stood on end with rage. This bastard had actually returned. Since you want to die so badly, I'll help you out. Wild. Take my place. Long Chen clenched his teeth and suddenly left his battlefield. He raised a hand, and a giant flame lotus appeared. Sacred chanting began to ring out through heaven and earth. Chapter 2203 The Sovereign Appears The Nirvana Scripture Pill Valley's experts stared in shock as a giant flame lotus appeared in the sky. Its existence set the battlefield on fire. After that, stars began to appear on top of the flame lotus's petals. First one, then two, then three. With every additional star, the flame lotus rumbled. Finally, at five stars on each petal, the world began to shake. Dragonblood Legion, assemble the Dragonblood Empyrean formation shouted Xia Chen. The Dragonblood warriors hastily pulled together, dragon marks appearing on their foreheads. After that, a layer of light condensed around them, the disciples of the heaven-splitting battle sect, the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, and the Mogate. The six-horned sea serpent man was pale. This attack from Long Chen had yet to come, and yet everything was already burning. Since you want to die so badly, I'll help you out. Long Chen's expression was malevolent. He had managed to upgrade the world extermination flame lotus to five stars, but this was his current limit. If this attack was unleashed, then all life forms at the center of the battlefield would be erased. Although Xia Chen had his protective formation up, Long Chen was not sure that the formation could endure. However, if he didn't take action, then the entire Dragonblood Legion would be exterminated. At least this way, there was some hope. He had to take the risk. The flame lotus raged and the heavens began to collapse. The huge flame lotus fell from the sky. This was truly a world-destroying blow. Xia Chen, you have to be able to hold on. Long Chen's heart tightened. The six-horned sea serpent man let out a furious howl. With the other five peak experts of the sea demon race, he summoned a giant shield that protected them. By this point, running would only be turning their backs to the danger. Then they would definitely be annihilated. Just as the flame lotus was about to land on the ground, a giant hand caught it. Long Chen was stunned. In that instant, he lost his connection to the flame lotus. He couldn't sense it or control it. This was something he had never encountered in his life. What person possessed such an ability? At that moment, a grand pressure appeared. One that caused the world to quiver. Every expert stiffened and found that they no longer had the ability to condense their energy for battle. What a nice world extermination flame lotus. Although it hasn't reached its limit, it already has the might to destroy worlds. However, although destroying worlds is easy, creation is difficult. If it only brings destruction and not a new life, it cannot become a peak art. A soft voice rang out, a voice that resonated with the world. Up in the sky, a white-robed man appeared. The flame lotus was now in his hand. As the white-robed man appeared, Every manifestation on the battlefield dissipated. All of a sudden, the hazy shadow over the sky vanished, and the bright sunlight illuminated the ground. The bloody and wild air was purified. The Empyreans could no longer sense the heavenly deos. All the laws of the heavenly deos were revolving around that one man. All the deos were prostrating themselves toward him. Sovereign everyone hastily kowtowed. The arrival of a sovereign was something that subdued all others. 
That was an instinctual urge from the depths of their souls. Everyone knelt, including Daoist Heavenly Feather, the old man, and Ku Jinying, Yu Ziaoyan, Zi Wentian, Zhang Ziyang, Pen Wanli, Long Jun Kang, Di Long also got on their knees. Even the Pill Fairy, Tian Zizi, and Dong Mingyu knelt. A sovereign was a supreme existence. Not only did they possess the power to suppress all others throughout the ages, but they had also protected the Martial Heaven continent. Anyone living on the Martial Heaven continent felt endless gratitude and reverence for the sovereigns. Only they were truly unrivaled. Mo Li, the Blood Emperor stared in shock. Even his gaze was filled with respect. This white-robed man was precisely Sovereign Mo Li. He had actually appeared at such a time. Sovereign Mo Li looked at the Blood Emperor and shook his head. Dust to dust. Earth to earth. Go in peace. Don't use up more of your family's karmic luck. Leave yourself a burning flame. Sovereign Mo Li waved a hand. As a result, everyone felt the space compress. And then the Stone Emperor and the Blood Emperor exploded. Transforming into runes that merged back into heaven and earth. He killed the Emperor's heroic spirits with a wave of his hand. Long Chen's heart shook. Just how strong were the sovereigns? Wasn't it said that emperors were capable of challenging the sovereigns? Then why was it that their heroic spirits didn't possess the slightest ability to resist? Currently, everyone was kneeling on the ground. The Xuan beasts were lying down with their heads touching the ground. And even the brainless magical beasts of Menchi were obedient now, not daring to move. Only Long Chen was still standing in the air, looking at Sovereign Mo Li. Sovereign Mo Li was also looking at Long Chen. Sovereign Mo Li's hand quivered ever so slightly, and the world extermination flame lotus dissipated, its energy returning to the world. Little brother, I bet you didn't expect to see me again, right? Sovereign Mo Li smiled at Long Chen, hearing the sovereign call Long Chen little brother, and again, everyone was dumbfounded. They knew each other? Just seeing a sovereign made them incomparably emotional. Sovereigns were legendary existences. But this sovereign Mo Li not only spoke to Long Chen but also called him brother. And he even said that they had met before? Just what kind of situation was that? Boss really is the boss. He didn't even tell us about such an amazing thing. I could have bragged about this for a lifetime. Amongst the crowd, Guo Ran felt enough admiration for Long Chen as to prostrate himself toward him. Yu Ziaoyan and the others' expressions changed upon hearing the sovereign speak to Long Chen like this. They had a bad feeling. Someone who could receive such a close appellation from a sovereign could not possibly be a traitor of the Martial Heaven continent. Just this one call of brother was enough to shatter their rumors. I really didn't expect you to appear. I even thought that some supreme expert had come to beat me up. I almost pissed myself. Long Chen bitterly smiled. He truly had been frightened just now. If a sovereign wished to target him, then not even 10,000 lives would be enough. There was a supreme existence in this world called Sovereign. No one could resist the sovereigns. Bidang Rushuang stealthily glanced at Long Chen and sighed. This fellow really was a monster. Even when talking to a sovereign, he spoke so sloppily. Your guts are quite big. You didn't explain yourself so you could kill everyone against you? Don't you think that's a bit too vicious? Asked Sovereign Mo Li. Ku Jinying and the others' expressions changed. Was Sovereign Mo Li dissatisfied with Long Chen? Long Chen indifferently said, I had no other choice but to be vicious if I wanted to live. I don't have the prestige of the sovereigns to make people unable to doubt me. I also don't have the grand aspirations of the sovereigns. I'm not capable of thinking for the entire continent while disregarding myself. I'm just an ordinary person who wants to live for the people I love. If others want to harm my people, then even if I have to destroy this world, even if I have to suffer eternal damnation in hell, I won't mind. They're the ones who want me dead. So why can't I be vicious? Why are their lives more valuable than mine? All I want is to live in peace with the people I love. But some people refuse to let me be. So I have no other choice. When reason doesn't work. I'm forced to kill, because, I want to live. Long Chen looked at the sovereign, his voice a bit louder than he wanted it to be because he was still full of hatred and killing intent. Those feelings didn't vanish just because of the appearance of a sovereign. Sovereign Mo Li smiled. I'm not criticizing you. I'm also not criticizing anyone else. 
I only took action today because this was my mission, to avoid the slaughter of the Martial Heaven Continent's core forces one time. Now that my mission is complete, I am finally free after being dead for so many years. Big Brother Mo Li, Long Chen's heart shook. Sovereign Mo Li truly no longer existed. For some reason, pain racked his heart. So even sovereigns would die. Long Chen knew that Sovereign Mo Li saying that he was free meant that his spiritual seal would soon vanish. Then there would no longer be a Sovereign Mo Li. Sovereign Mo Li's smile widened. He patted Long Chen on the shoulder. I'm very happy to be called big brother by you. It means you acknowledge me in your heart. How could I not acknowledge you? You are a supreme existence. I'm not fit to call you brother. Long Chen shook his head. That was the truth. He was full of respect for the sovereigns. But the pride within him refused to let him call a sovereign brother and use that as a trump card to intimidate others. That was why he had never called Mo Li brother before. However, today, he knew that if he didn't say it, he would never have another chance in this lifetime. Actually, with your status, I'm the one not fit to be called brother by you. You'll understand in the future. Long Chen, I'm sorry, but the karma for my action today will be counted against you due to you calling me brother. I hope you won't curse me in the future. This time, Sovereign Mo Li didn't speak out loud, instead talking only to him spiritually. What Long Chen's expression changed. He suddenly felt that he had been schemed against. Chapter 2204 The Mighty Brick Trump Card You'll know the situation in the future. So I won't say any more in order to not accumulate more karma against you. Said Sovereign Mo Li. Why would I have to bear this karma? You were the one who saved me. Although he didn't know what this karma was going to be. It was obvious it wouldn't be a good thing. Because I do not have one person close to me in this world. I have no family who called me brother. I'm already dead, and you are the only considered close to me in this world. So the heavenly deos will naturally view you as my family and count this karma against you, said Sovereign Mo Li. Long Chen was feeling uncomfortable with this karma, but when Sovereign Mo Li said that Long Chen was his only family in this world, he felt sad. Even an existence as strong as a sovereign didn't have a single close friend or family? That had to be a lonely existence. All right. To be able to call you big brother is worth it. I'll bear whatever karma there is. Said Long Chen. Ha ha ha. I knew that you wouldn't mind. Little brother. The path ahead is rough. Be careful. Sovereign Mo Li patted Long Chen's shoulder. His expression one of great expectations. After saying that. Sovereign Mo Li looked through the crowd. When his gaze fell upon Daoist heavenly feather. He smiled. So it's a descendant of an old friend. You are Luo Xingqin's descendant, right? Sovereign Mo Li appeared in front of Daoist Heavenly Feather. Yes, Sovereign even with Daoist Heavenly Feather's cultivation base and position. She was nervous in front of a Sovereign. She wanted to say something, but she wasn't able to. As for everyone else, they were startled to hear that Daoist Heavenly Feather's ancestor had been one of Sovereign Mo Li's followers. The ice river stretched into the sky, and a sword fell amongst the stars. For Luo Xingqin to have a qualified successor is gratifying. Regretfully, a sword can slash through the stars, but it can't slash through the river of time. That old friend is gone, but the river still exists. I cannot help sighing. Sovereign Mo Li reached out and helped Daoist Heavenly Feather stand. Daoist Heavenly Feather didn't know what to say. She was too emotional. There's also Wu Zingyan's descendant. Sovereign Mo Li suddenly turned to the old man. This lowly disciple Wu Guangguan greets Sovereign Mo Li. My ancestor is indeed Wu Zingyan, said the old man. Long Chen and the heaven splitting battle sect's disciples were all startled. They looked at the old man. He had never spoken about this origin. What are you looking at? All the ancestors' faces have been lost by me. So how could I bring it up? Raged the old man. Ha ha ha, a temper like a spring storm. You're the same as Wu Zingyan. Sovereign Mo Li laughed and also helped the old man stand. Old man, this is my big brother. In the future, let's properly discuss our seniority called out Long Chen. The old man's expression immediately darkened. If the sovereign wasn't present, he would be using his stick for a beating right now. Sovereign, since you support Long Chen, why not eliminate those people slandering him? Ignoring Long Chen, 
the old man asked a direct question that caused countless people's expressions to change. Sovereign Moli shook his head. Who says I'm supporting Long Chen? Long Chen and I can be called brothers, but I will not interfere in his grudges. The only reason I took action was because this was a one-time mission. Now that my mission is complete, I will completely vanish from this world. I'm already dead anyway. I no longer have any responsibilities over this world. The Martial Heaven Continent's future will be in your hands. Whether or not the continent will survive will be up to you. Don't hope for someone else to come save you or the continent. You only have yourselves to rely on. We are already in the past and have done what we were supposed to do. Whether or not you can pass through the coming tribulation is up to you. Sovereign the old man suddenly found that Sovereign Moli was starting to fade away. Sovereign Moli waved his hand and continued. Due to my actions this time, the seal that I left behind will begin to weaken. In three months, the seal will break and the blood race will be able to pass through. Everyone, do your best. Sovereign Moli's soft voice still rang out through the air, but his figure had vanished. Grief filled countless hearts. The sovereigns had died, and this was stated personally by a sovereign. In other words, even when other races invaded the continent, no one would be there to protect them. All their hopes transformed into illusions. Without the protection of the sovereigns, it felt like a mountain was crushing their hearts. They couldn't breathe. Everyone was silent. Sovereign Moli had vanished. While the Blood Emperor and the Stone Emperor's heroic spirits had been destroyed with a wave of his hand, the experts present had personally borne witness to the unrivaled manner of the sovereigns. People finally began to stand once more. Some people were still recovering from the shock of seeing a sovereign. At this moment, Long Chen's divine ring appeared, and he shot toward the sea demon race. More accurately, he was charging toward that man from the six-horned sea serpent race. Chu Yao on his way. Long Chen let out a shout that Chu Yao instantly understood. Three emerald leaves appeared on her back, and she used the wood spirit union to share her spiritual yuan with Long Chen. Long Chen had used up a great deal of his energy after fighting this long, especially against the heroic spirits. As for the world extermination flame lotus, it had sucked away almost all of his reserves. With Chu Yao's help, he arrived in front of the six-horned sea serpent man, and without another word, slapped him in the face. The six-horned sea serpent man had yet to recover from his shock, and he barely managed to see a figure appear in front of him before he was sent flying. Snake bastard, you want to play a game of wits with me today. Ha Long Chen grabbed the six-horned sea serpent man as the latter was flying back. Then Long Chen grabbed two of his horns and slammed his knee into his face. The six-horned sea serpent man's nose broke, and his face caved in. Mucus and tears streamed down his face. Suddenly, his horns unleashed rays of divine light that shot at Long Chen's head. Long Chen's heart shook, and he flipped back, at the same time kicking him. The six rays of light passed right past Long Chen's face. They were so sharp that they left a cut on his face even though they missed. Long Chen's kick landed on the six-horned sea serpent man's chin, and the shiver-inducing sound of bones breaking rang out. Kill. Only now did the sea demon race react and attack Long Chen. At the same time, furious roars came from the dragon blood legion as they attacked. Six giant magical beasts charged through the sea demons under Menki's control. All the Dragonblood Legion's power was now concentrated on the Sea Demon race. Long Chen, just wait. We'll settle our debts in the future, shouted the Six-Horned Sea Serpent Man. His six horns lit up once more, unleashing attacks that forced back Long Chen. Retreat. Long Chen was forced to dodge since he was now using Chu Yao's spiritual yuan, and Chu Yao had used up a great deal of her spiritual yuan in the fighting. The six-horned sea serpent man was truly planning on retreating, but then upon seeing Long Chen's furious expression and how he wasn't chasing, he had a thought and decided to change plans. Actually, I'll kill you first before leaving. The six-horned sea serpent man suddenly transformed into a giant sea serpent. A terrifying pressure crashed down as his manifestation of the martial heaven sea ring appeared behind him. Opening his mouth, a giant sphere of light condensed and within that sphere was his bone trident. I knew that you would fall for it, idiot. Long Chen sneered and took out a cyan brick. He smashed it at the sea serpent. 
The cyan brick grew explosively until it filled the sky. The giant sea serpent looked like a loach in front of it. At this critical moment, Long Chen had taken out the heaven flipping seal. It smashed down like a star on the sea serpent. Boom. The sea serpent had yet to unleash his attack when the brick slammed him into the ground. A wave of earth rose while the center sank deeper than anywhere else. He actually still had a trump card. People were stunned to see that Long Chen still had such a terrifying trick up his sleeves. The ground in the distance exploded, and a giant figure flew out. It was the sea serpent. He was covered in blood, and even the manifestation of the martial heaven sea ring had vanished. The six-horned sea serpent had almost been killed just now, and his manifestation had been broken. He fled for his life. A streak of sword light slashed toward his head, seeing him in such desperate straits. Three other sea demons managed to get in the way of the sword light. They died, but the six-horned sea serpent managed to flee. Stop right there. Just at this moment, a giant figure jumped onto the six-horned sea serpent's back. No one had noticed where this giant had come from. It's Wild. Wild was a 300-meter giant, and his body was covered in blood and open wounds. However, his blood chi was still strong. Wild grabbed one of the six-horned sea serpent's horns and chomped down with his mouth. Chapter 2205 Divine Punishment Wild chomped down, and that incredibly tough horn that not even Evil Moon had been able to sever had a giant chunk ripped out of it. A-H-H the six-horned sea serpent let out a shriek. Those six horns were where his foundation lay. They were connected to his soul. Wild eating his horns was equivalent to devouring his soul. He struggled madly, wanting to throw Wild from his head. But Wild hung on to his horn, continuing to bite. Cracking sounds rang out as another giant chunk was ripped from the horn. Wild was like a hungry wolf that had encountered meat. Those horns contained the six-horned sea serpent's very life essence and heavenly darunes. Bastard. Get off. The six-horned sea serpent desperately dove into the ground, trying to throw Wild off. The ground continued to explode as the two of them struggled underground. Boom. Finally, the six-horned sea serpent charged out of the ground, having thrown off Wild. However, his head was covered in blood. One of his horns had vanished. He now only had five horns and his aura had plummeted. Bastards. All of you just wait. The six-horned sea serpent let out a miserable cry. The earth exploded as Wild appeared above ground as well. He was still holding a giant horn. Having managed to rip that horn off the six-horned sea serpent, everyone looked at Wild like he was a monster. The Xuan beasts especially. They were terrified. The sea demon army began to run. The Dragon Blood Legion's numbers were not enough to stop such a huge army from fleeing. Once the Sea Demon race was gone, they left behind countless giant corpses on the ground. The entire battlefield was soaked in blood. The Sea Demons had come ferociously and left dejectedly. In between those two moments, they left behind a land of corpses and brought away nothing. The Sovereign is gone, and the Sea Demons have scrammed. It's time for us to settle our grudges. Long Chen suddenly turned to the experts of the various powers of the continent, his killing intent not having diminished at all. When he had been tied down by the emperors and the Dragonblood Legion had been besieged, the Sea Demon race had launched an attack, throwing the entire Dragonblood Legion into danger of being exterminated. Now that the crisis had passed, it was time to return to the original plan. Long Chen's eyes were full of icy killing intent. The experts of Pill Valley, the corrupt path, the ancient races, the Xuan beasts, and the ancient family alliance all stared at him, their expressions changing. They hadn't expected Long Chen to be so brutal. Even now, he refused to stop. Long Chen, this is all a misunderstanding. Even a sovereign has come, so the misunderstanding has been resolved. There's no need to keep fighting amongst ourselves, said Nangong Zuayu. Yes. Even the Sovereign has said that a seal will break in three months. We can't keep killing ourselves. We have to join forces against the foreign enemies, said Bidang Rushuang. Both the Dragonblood Legion and their opponents were exhausted. If they continued to clash, there would definitely be horrendous casualties. Then the Martial Heaven Continent's core forces would be too damaged to face the Blood Race. If the Blood Race broke through, the continent would be doomed. Was I the one who started this fight? No, it was some idiots who constantly targeted me. 
Why should I stop? Why is it that when they were trying to kill me, they didn't think about joining forces for the continent's safety? Why do I have to cry a single tear for their deaths? Why do I have to care about the continent? If the sovereign hadn't appeared, many of my brothers would have died here. Don't talk about such sanctimonious things with me. I don't acknowledge them. All I know is that if someone tries to kill me, then I'll kill them. Hear me Dragonblood Legion. Kill them to avenge our fallen brothers and sisters of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race, roared Long Chen. Kill. Long Chen went straight for Dong Fang Yuyang. Dong Fang Yuyang was already exhausted, and when Long Chen's saber landed on his silver shield, he coughed up a mouthful of blood. Dong Fang Yuyang's expression suddenly changed. Runes lit up all over his body. After that, a dagger appeared in midair and cut across his neck. Blood splashed. Dong Fang Yuyang's head flew through the air. The blood kill hall's divine daughter Dong Mingyu had beheaded him. Before this, she had been blocking the blood emperor, so no one had seen her true killing blows. But now, they saw that even Dong Fang Yuyang was unable to resist. However, just as Dong Fang Yuyang's head flew through the air, his head and body began to fade away. A clone. Startled cries rang out and people looked around only to see space twist in the distance. Dong Fang Yuyang appeared there. A cut on his throat was still bleeding. Although he had managed to switch places with the fake at that moment, he was still terrified by Dong Mingyu. She had attacked without him being able to sense anything. Although he had reacted instantly, his head had almost been cut off. He was pale with fright. Dong Mingyu was truly worthy of being the Martial Heaven Continent's number one assassin. Dong Mingyu's figure vanished. It was impossible to sense her existence. Dong Fang Yuyang shivered and immediately summoned the astral ancient castle. He fled inside, afraid of this invisible killer. The feeling that his life might be taken away at any moment was unpleasant. Dong Fang Yuyang had become a tortoise hiding in his shell, while the distant Kun Pengzi suddenly had a bad feeling. He summoned his true body, transforming into a giant Kunpang but a dagger still stabbed through his forehead. Although his transformation allowed him to grow so big that this attack didn't reach his crystal core, a terrifying divine energy poured through, making him shriek with pain. Lightning exploded out of him, and Dong Mingyu's small figure flew back. Dong Mingyu had attacked twice, almost killing Dong Fang Yuyang and Kun Pengzi. Such terrifying assassination arts made every expert feel a chill on their back. There was no way to defend against such a killer. However, just as Dong Mingyu was about to continue attacking, she spat out a mouthful of blood and fell from the sky. Long Chen had just attacked Dong Fang Yuyang's castle and was about to slam the brick into it to see if he might shatter the castle when he saw Dong Mingyu falling. He immediately flew over to her and caught her. Little you, what's wrong? Long Chen was shocked to find that Dong Mingyu's aura was now in chaos. Her life energy was growing weak, and a divine mark appeared on her forehead. At first, it was golden, but now it began to turn black. It was this divine mark that was sucking away her life and soul. She betrayed our god. He has sensed this and sent down his divine punishment. She will suffer the pain of ten thousand poisons devouring her soul and never reincarnate, shouted the blood kill halls Zhang Ziyang hatefully. Zhang Ziyang was filled with hatred but also fear. For the divine daughter to betray the killing god was inconceivable. She had managed to slay all the elite disciples of the blood kill hall. So he was now the master of an empty hall. Considering this giant blunder, perhaps even he would be punished by the god. He was starting to get worried. Dong Mingyu's condition caused the rest of the Dragonblood Legion to return. As for their opponents, they retreated, feeling relieved from a heavy burden. As for taking advantage of this moment to launch a sneak attack, although they knew that this was their best chance, they didn't have the guts for it. The 612th rank magical beasts had exhausted themselves and were no longer capable of unleashing their divine abilities, but they stood guard over the Dragonblood Legion, giving off immense pressure. Chu Yao formed hand seals, sending pure life energy into Dong Mingyu's body. She was also transferring the energy of her Yuan spirit into her body, helping her resist the devouring. However, that divine mark was like a terrifying beast, constantly devouring all the energy she sent into her body. 
No matter how much energy she poured in, it was devoured. Despite that, thanks to her efforts, Dong Mingyu seemed to recover ever so slightly, but she was still as pale as paper. Big Brother Long Chen, I'm really sorry. I destroyed the Killing God statue so that I would have enough time to help you get rid of a few enemies. That way, I could die in peace. Dong Mingyu was apologetic. Without you, we would have been killed. You've helped me out immensely. Also, I won't let you die. So don't worry. Long Chen's thoughts were in a whirl. Dong Mingyu now had a god's curse on her. There was no medicine that could cure her. Dong Mingyu shook her head and lay in Long Chen's embrace. A satisfied expression appeared on her face. No one cared about me ever since I was born into this world. It was like I was born to be a chess piece. Even my father and mother never cared about me. Only you actually did. Even though I was trying to kill you, you let me off. Your expression of pity is something I'll never forget in this lifetime. From that day onward, I swore to spend this life for you. You are the true God in my heart. You are the only one who cared for me in this world and didn't treat me as a chess piece. You are the only one and my everything. Dong Mingyu's murmuring made Long Chen's heart ache. He hadn't really treated her all that well. At that time, she had just been an innocent child used by others. But that extremely insignificant action of his had been engraved into Dong Mingyu's undying memory. She had even betrayed the killing god and was now being punished. With no one who cared about her, this little bit of care had resulted in her being willing to use her own life to repay him. Little you, don't speak. I'll bring you to see someone. Perhaps he can help you. Long Chen gave Dong Mingyu a medicinal pill that could temporarily suppress the curse. Dragonblood Legion. Today's matter will be temporarily left here. We're leaving. Long Chen waved his hand, and the Dragonblood Legion jumped onto the backs of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrows. Long Chen looked at the old man and the others. The old man nodded toward him, and only then did Long Chen bring his people speeding away. Chapter 2206 Four Divines writ as I thought. The martial heaven continent's fate is not yet doomed. Even a sovereign has appeared. All kinds of karma have been entangled, but there is still a seed of hope left for the martial heaven continent. The sovereign did not wish for a war between the people of the continent. Daoist Heavenly Feather smiled as she watched Long Chen and the others leave. Her words were heard by others, and their hearts shook. It seemed that according to Daoist Heavenly Feather, if they had really fought just now, the martial heaven continent would have been doomed. The sovereign had managed to prevent huge casualties from appearing. But Long Chen had refused to stop there. It was only when Dong Mingyu suffered the god's curse that Long Chen had no choice but to leave to help her. This battle hadn't seen its true end. However, just thinking about this battle gave people goosebumps. No one had thought that Long Chen and his Dragonblood Legion would be enough to contend against the entire world's heavenly geniuses. They also hadn't thought that Long Chen and the Dragonblood Legion possessed the power to destroy the world. Everyone had underestimated the Dragonblood Legion and Long Chen. If it weren't for Dong Mingyu, Long Chen would have led his Dragonblood Legion into a battle to the death. People could imagine just what that kind of conclusion that would result in. The majority of the continent's heavenly geniuses would have died here. If such a thing occurred, then when the Dark Era descended, the devastated Martial Heaven continent would not have the power to protect itself. It would be destroyed. Just as everyone was thinking about various thoughts, the void rumbled. An ancient war chariot flew through the air, and a banner fell from it. The banner landed on the ground with a thump. After that, startled cries rang out as people recognized it. The banner was the color of fresh blood. At its center were four rings, all of them different colors. At the center of the rings was the divine character. The four divines writ, it hasn't appeared in countless years. Now it's showing up again. Daoist Heavenly Feather sank into deep thought. Just as everyone was shocked. Amongst the crowd. Di Long smiled oddly. Suddenly. One of the giant magical beast corpses on the battlefield moved. Causing everyone to jump. That magical beast had been Menki's houseboat. Why was it moving again? In the next instant. The corpse vanished. Revealing wild. He had collected the corpse and was in the midst of cleaning up the battlefield. While the rest of the Dragonblood Legion had gone, he had stayed behind. There were too many corpses here. 
Long Chen had no time to tidy them up, so he left Wild to pick what he wanted. Wild walked up to one of the sea demon corpses and took a bite. He then spat it out. It seemed that it wasn't to his taste, and he went to pick some other sea demon corpses. Put those down, or I'll beat you to death. Just at this moment, the Xuan beasts began to go through the battlefield as well, wanting to take the corpses of their fellow Xuan beasts. Wild's demand infuriated them. He was viewing the corpses of their fellow Xuan beasts as food. Wild, let them go. They're only taking the corpses of their own people. They won't touch the sea demon corpses, called out the old man. He didn't want Wild to start another fight here. Wild didn't say anything further since the old man had spoken. There were plenty of sea demon corpses for him to pick from. He picked out those with the strongest physical bodies, always taking a bite first to test their blood chi. If they were strong, he would gather them, and if they weren't, he would toss them aside. The other experts began to go through the battlefield as well, seeing their comrades dead. Quite a few of them raged with killing intent. Many of their old friends no longer had a corpse to find. On the other hand, the Martial Heaven Alliance hadn't lost a single person. They had only used the Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet. As for the Dragonblood Legion, only a few hundred experts of the Cloud Chasing Heaven Swallowing Sparrow race had died. The proportion of their losses was completely one-sided. The number losses amongst the heavenly geniuses of the junior generation as well as the old monsters of the senior generation numbered over one million. That was an incredibly tragic loss. Yu Ziaoyan and the others all had dark expressions. This battle had been a complete loss for them. While Long Chen had managed to soar, the black chi on the pill fairy's forehead had yet to scatter. The divine seal that Dong Mingyu had placed on her was still present, so she was still unable to use her power. If Dong Mingyu had not had mercy, the pill fairy would have died. That was the terror of an assassination. On the entire battlefield, Dong Mingyu was the most terrifying. Perhaps she was the only one in this world who had a chance to kill Long Chen. Regretfully, she was willing to betray her very god for Long Chen. That was something people still had trouble believing. However, they also knew that Dong Mingyu's death was just a matter of time. There was no one in this world who could break a god's curse. The price for betraying a god was a deadly one. Far off in the distance was a man with a giant die spinning behind him. He held a pile of dominoes in his hand. This person was the heir of the gambling heavenly Dao, Hu Fang. He smiled and put away the dominoes. I won the gamble. That really was a frightening battle Hu Fang muttered to himself and vanished without a trace. No one on the battlefield noticed his existence. The various experts cleaned up the battlefield. Only the Martial Heaven Alliance's experts didn't need to do anything. That was because this battlefield didn't belong to them. The Martial Heaven Alliance has no need for traitors. But we won't lump people together and kill you all. If you have a righteous heart and swear before the Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet to be forever loyal to the righteous path, the gates to the Martial Heaven Alliance will be open to you announced Yi Lingxian just as Ku Jinying was preparing to leave. Her voice resounded through the battlefield. Countless disciples standing in the neutral camp twitched. They were sorely tempted. Many people had been forced to leave the Martial Heaven Alliance simply due to the orders of the sect leaders or people in charge. They couldn't choose for themselves. But today, Yi Lingxian was reopening the doors to the disciples that had left the Martial Heaven Alliance. They were originally disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance, and although they weren't standing on opposite sides now, just standing in the neutral camp while the Martial Heaven Alliance was fighting was a kind of betrayal. For Yi Lingxian to once more invite them to join her made them feel very emotional. But at that moment, the elders of the various sects began to order their disciples to leave. If all those disciples left, then their sects would become empty shells of no value. No one would care about them. As everyone scattered, the old man took charge of Wild. Long Chen had told him not to leave Wild alone, or he would get lost. Everyone left, but the Sovereign Seal remained at the entrance of the Yun Yang Seal. It hadn't been broken by the impact of the Qi Flow Stream. It simply floated there like a spectator watching everything before it. The Battle of the Qi Flow Eruption had shaken the entire Martial Heaven continent. This had been the most intense competition of chi flow in the continent's history. Even the sea demon race had participated in it. In the end though, 
the strongest expert of the sea demon race was forced to run like a ray. Even one of his horns had been torn off. Their giant army had taken heavy losses. The Stone Emperor's descendant and the Blood Emperor's daughter had both been killed. Their heroic spirits had been brought out as a result and destroyed with the wave of a sovereign's hand. The Dragonblood Legion that Long Chen led had managed to hold out against over half the world's power. Their fame reached new levels. To be able to call himself brother to a sovereign, he was definitely the first. All the experts of the continent discussed this matter for days. Long Chen, Dong Mingyu, Wild, Yu Zifeng, Guo Ran, Meng Qi, Yi Zhikyu, Lu Ruian, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, all their names were spoken on the streets. Everyone had borne witness to the Dragonblood Legion's terrifying power. Other than the battle, the other thing that people discussed was the Four Divines Writ. The Four Divines Writ was an unknown existence to many people. Only some sects with very ancient inheritances knew some rumors about it. Legend had it that there was an extremely mysterious force above the martial heaven continent known as the Divine Families. According to the records, after the era of the sovereigns, there were four divine families protecting the martial heaven continent. When the martial heaven continent faced a tribulation it could not endure, experts of the divine families would appear to help the continent pass through that tribulation. However, after helping the continent through the tribulation, the divine families would vanish without a trace. It was impossible to track them. They remained a mysterious existence. The Divine Families almost never had any communication with the Martial Heaven Continent. Everyone had questions about what kind of existence they were, or if they even existed. The appearance of the Four Divines Writ caused huge waves. Originally, people had been very worried about how they would survive the Dark Era, but the Four Divines Writ amplified their confidence. The large sects began to warn their disciples that the appearance of the Four Divines Writ indicated that the Divine Families would be participating in the upcoming tribulation. They were not to offend the Divine Families. If they offended the Divine Families, all that remained for them was death. No one would be able to protect them. The arrival of disciples of the Divine Families could be a huge opportunity for the Martial Heaven Continent's disciples. If they were talented enough. Perhaps they would have a chance of being accepted into the divine families. Many of the heavenly geniuses were drawn to that possibility. They began to research any information they could about the divine families, only to find that that information was in the hands of extremely old powers. The rest of the world had basically never heard of them. Just as the continent was filled with talk about the Qi Flow battle and the Four Divines writ, Long Chen arrived at the Wine God Palace holding Dong Mingyu. High Priest, I beg you to save my friend. Long Chen arrived in front of the High Priest and begged. His impression was that perhaps only the High Priest could have the ability to save Dong Mingyu. Chapter 2207 Remnant of the Wine God The High Priest seemed to have been expecting Long Chen's arrival. He indicated for Long Chen to place Dong Mingyu down and examined her closely. This child's soul has been filled with God energy. For her to be able to retain her own will. Her Deo heart is shockingly firm. However, in order to become stronger, she has absorbed too much God energy. Now that she has betrayed her God, her divine punishment is even stronger. The high priest took out a tiny jade bottle. From it, a single drop of liquid slowly flowed out and landed on Dong Mingyu's lips. Seeing that drop, Long Chen was greatly startled. That liquid was emitting extremely dense divine energy, making him feel very minuscule. The wine god left behind ten drops of divine wine for us. Now there are only three drops left. However, this drop of divine wine is unable to undo the curse of a god. What it can do is postpone the eruption of the curse and give you ample time to prepare, said the high priest. You mean, the curse of a god cannot be broken by a human. However, that does not include you, said the high priest with a smile. The curse of a god has to pass down through the heavenly deos. As for you, you are disconnected from the heavenly deos. Do you understand? You mean that I should draw the curse into myself? Asked Long Chen. The high priest nodded. The wine god's divine wine can suppress the curse and condense it into a ball. The best time to extract it will be three days from now. However, you should think this through. If you absorb the curse, 
It doesn't mean that you will be fine just because you aren't a disciple of the killing god and not within the scope of the heavenly deos. Karma will always find you one day. There's nothing for me to think through. She could do this for me. So I won't hesitate to do the same for her. Long Chen gently brushed his hand against Dong Mingyu's tender cheek. Dong Mingyu was in a deep slumber. Her pale face was finally starting to redden. Almost like someone who was flushed from drinking alcohol. It seemed that she was dreaming of something beautiful. He thought back to when he had first encountered her. A child that was three or four years old had managed to trick the killing god for him. Most people were good in this world. A single day of kindness might plant a seed in their hearts that could grow into a towering tree. Long Chen originally hated this world, but he had slowly come to realize that this world had many beautiful things worth protecting. Big Brother, a tender voice rang out, and a girl in a green dress and two small braids framing her face ran in. She immediately threw herself into Long Chen's embrace. Big Brother, you're back. I really missed you. This girl was Long Chen's little sister. Long Xiaoyu. Long Xiaoyu was already 10 years old and was as tall as Long Chen's waist. Her looks took after her mother, and while on the outside she looked ladylike, her lively eyes sold out her true nature. She was extremely mischievous just like Long Chen, making her parents constantly worry over her. Big brother also missed you. Aya, you grew up quickly. You're very pretty. Long Chen lifted up Long Xiaoyu, feeling a burst of emotion. When he had left the Phoenix Cry Empire, Long Xiaoyu had yet to be born. Now she was already 10. Hey, who is this big sister? Long Xiaoyu curiously looked at Dong Mingyu. She is. Long Chen was about to explain to Long Xiaoyu when Dong Mingyu slowly opened her eyes. Upon seeing the high priest nearby, her expression changed and she instinctively recoiled, a dagger appearing in her hand. Little you, don't be nervous. This is the high priest. He is one of us, said Long Chen. As an assassin, Dong Mingyu's sense of danger was extremely sharp. Only once Long Chen explained did she put away her dagger. Long Chen held her hand. Don't be nervous. From now on, you are no longer an assassin of the Blood Kill Hall but a member of the Dragon Blood Legion. Hurry and thank the high priest. He was the one who helped suppress the curse. No need for thanks. You can chat first. I'll take my leave. The high priest smiled and left. Long Chen knew the high priest was doing this to avoid arousing suspicion. Long Xiaoyu curiously looked at Dong Mingyu. Big sister, you look very powerful. Can you teach me how to fight? Upon seeing Dong Mingyu, who was taller than her, Long Xiaoyu sensed something amazing about her. Although Long Xiaoyu was a novice at cultivation, she felt Dong Mingyu to be extraordinary. Foolish girl. What's there to learn about fighting? In the Wine God Palace, who are you planning on fighting? Mom or Dad? Demanded Long Chen. This girl was always thinking strange things. Dong Mingyu, let me introduce you to my little sister, Long Xiaoyu. It's really coincidental. You both have a you in your names. In an instant, Long Xiaoyu began to act very familiar with Dong Mingyu, holding her hand and calling her big sister you saying that she wanted to go play with her. However, Long Chen knew that this girl was definitely up to something. When no one else was around, she would definitely ask Dong Mingyu to teach her a few things. Dong Mingyu was an assassin. When she made her move, people's lives would cease to exist. Long Xiaoyu couldn't just randomly learn her skills. Long Chen shooed her away telling her to bring news to their parents to prepare dinner noveloon.com only then did Long Xiaoyu run off. Once she was gone, Dong Mingyu sighed as if relieved of a heavy burden. You're very tense. Long Chen looked at Dong Mingyu and smiled comfortingly. She was very nervous to be in such close proximity with Long Xiaoyu. That was related to her profession as an assassin. An assassin could not trust anyone, nor could they allow anyone to approach them not even the weakest existence. Perhaps in this world, the only one who could lower Dong Mingyu's guard was Long Chen. Everyone else, including someone as weak as Long Xiaoyu, would make her tense. Let's go for a walk. Long Chen brought Dong Mingyu out of the high priest's residence. The wine god palace was still as beautiful as ever. The path wound through the green grass, and birds sang from the trees. Big brother Long Chen, 
Have I made things hard on you? Dong Mingyu was apologetic. What are you talking about? This is a habit of your profession. You'll slowly get used to the change. You'll find that the people beside you will make you feel safe and warm in the future, said Long Chen. The future. Dong Mingyu muttered to herself, a sudden trace of sadness appearing in her eyes. Are you still worried about the god's curse? Don't worry, I've found a way to handle it, said Long Chen. Dong Mingyu shook her head. Big brother Long Chen, you don't need to console me. Ever since I entered the world of the killing god, I knew this day would come. I've killed too many people, and I'm not afraid of death. To be able to truly help you this time, I have no regrets even in death. Do you really have no regrets? Do you not wish to follow your big brother in overcoming the rest of the world and being free? Asked Long Chen. It's a nice wish. I wish I could accompany you forever. You're the only one in this world who has treated me well. But, I, Dong Mingyu held back her tears. She wasn't afraid of death. She had originally made her determination to kill herself when the curse descended upon her so that she wouldn't bring any trouble to Long Chen. She was clearer than anyone on just how terrifying the god's curse was. However, after she had seen Long Chen's eyes full of worry over her, after she had laid in his warm embrace, for the first time, she felt that death was not as simple as she had imagined. Long Chen pulled Dong Mingyu into his embrace. Trust in your big brother. As long as your big brother Long does not approve of it, no one can wrest someone from my side, not even a god. The high priest had alerted him about the dangers of this curse, but he didn't fear it. Holding Dong Mingyu's hand, Long Chen slowly walked through the forest. He asked Dong Mingyu about the past few years. Dong Mingyu's only response was killing, killing, and more killing. This was the profession of an assassin. In the training grounds of the assassins, no one had known she was the future divine daughter. The fighting within the blood kill hall itself was incomparably cruel. Slaughtering each other was common and even necessary. That was why their assassination missions were always solo. They never worked together with others because they couldn't trust anyone else. Or perhaps the only ones they could trust were their weapons and dead people. Although Dong Mingyu had put it simply, Long Chen knew that she had to have experienced an unimaginable life during these past few years. Dong Mingyu was still young, but her heart was aged with things no child should experience. To become the Martial Heaven Continent's number one assassin was no simple thing. When they passed by Fatty Tu Kian Chang's little house, Long Chen found that he wasn't home. When Long Chen asked around, he learned that Tu Kian Chang was off wandering. The Wine God Palace really is a good place. There's a roof over your head, food to eat, and freedom to wander about whenever you want. Not seeing Fatty Tu disappointed Long Chen. After being beaten so badly at drinking games that he almost turned hostile, Fatty Tu had still gone to help the heaven-splitting battle sect Long Chen felt that he needed to properly apologize to him. It's getting late. Let's go home and eat. Long Chen smiled and pulled Dong Mingyu to the rear of the Wine God Palace. Chapter 2208 The Emotions of the Common Mortals Come. Child, eat some more. These vegetables were all personally grown by me. They're very fresh. Mrs. Long affectionately used her chopsticks to take bits of every dish she had made. She rarely had visitors, so she was very excited by Long Chen and Dong Mingyu's arrival. With each dish, she explained what vegetables had gone into it and how she had cultivated them. What made Long Chen the most speechless was that his mother had even started raising her own chickens, ducks, and pigs. Everything on the table had been grown by her. Mom, this is the Wine God Palace a sacred place. It's, it's not very suitable for you to raise these. Long Chen felt a bit bitter. Raising livestock within the Wine God Palace didn't seem to suit its nature. What's not suitable about it? Even the great high priest comes every month to eat a meal with us. He constantly praises my cooking. The high priest even said something about the Tao Mrs. Long couldn't quite recall what it was. It was that the Tao is hidden within life. It means that many deos within this world are hidden in plain sight around us. We need to experience all aspects of life to comprehend them. Long Shyangxia walked in, holding two jugs. Here, have a taste of my new wine. One of those jugs contained something known as the Hundred Flower Berry Wine. 
It was specifically made by Long Xiang Xiao for Mrs. Long and Long Xiaoyu. In the past, Mrs. Long had complained a great deal about Long Xiang Xiao's enthusiasm for alcohol. To stop her nagging, Long Xiang Xiao had come up with this hundred flower berry wine that could nourish the body and improve the complexion. Most importantly, the flavor was particularly good. After drinking it a few times, Mrs. Long found herself looking younger and came to love the wine and as a result, her complaining ceased. Now, Long Xiang Xiao spent all day making wine, while Mrs. Long spent all day in the garden, and Long Xiaoyu was sent to the Grand Xia's schools. They were all doing their part. Their days were all simple but happy. Little you, you should try out your uncle's craftsmanship. Long Xiang Xiao poured some wine into Dong Mingyu's cup. Long Xiaoyu was delighted because this was the only wine she was allowed to drink and she didn't get to drink it often. Little big sister, what's wrong? Long Xiaoyu suddenly noticed that Dong Mingyu was crying. I, I'm fine. Thank you. Dong Mingyu had never experienced the warmth of a family. In her recollection, her father and mother had never even smiled at her. They had only harshly criticized her when she failed to live up to their expectations. There was also an icy whip. The slightest slacking during her training would result in her mother's whip splitting her skin. As for her father, she didn't recall him ever speaking to her. It was like they didn't view her as a child but a tool. Or perhaps she was simply a chip to improve their lot with the killing god. At first, Dong Mingyu didn't feel that this was odd. That was because the entire blood kill hall was like this. There were no emotions to speak of. However, upon encountering Long Chen, her life had started to change. For the first time, she saw someone that could pity an enemy who harmed them. Someone who endured the pain of being stabbed in the heart yet refused to kill the stabber. Later on, she had gradually come into contact with the rest of the world and learned that not everyone was a heartless assassin. Not all parents were that cold to their children. However, even then, those emotions were a distant thing to her. The only person she trusted in this world was Long Chen. Today, she experienced this closeness, this unconditional trust from others. She, who had long since forgotten what it felt like for tears to touch her eyes, once more experienced it, but her mental realm was completely different from the last time. Long Xiang Xiao and Mrs. Long exchanged a glance, not knowing why Dong Mingyu would suddenly start crying. This is just the start. You'll come to realize that this world has many things that can move you. You'll find more things to love in this world, said Long Chen comfortingly. Although Long Chen had never been an assassin, he had profoundly experienced the emotionless way that assassins viewed life. It was a kind of extreme brainwashing that wiped out their emotions. The blood kill hall raised every person to be a killing tool. Dong Mingyu had always suppressed any feelings of hating her current life or longing for a different one. Today, that suppression was lifted. Dong Mingyu smiled slightly at his words. Although her appearance was still very young, she was beautiful. After eating, Dong Mingyu gradually grew accustomed to this atmosphere. Although it hadn't reached the point where she was smiling and talking, at the very least, she wasn't so tense anymore. Mrs. Long purely felt that Dong Mingyu was a bit emotional because she must have suffered before. Hence, she began to look after her. On the other hand, Long Xiang Xiao saw some clues and didn't judge her or do anything. He just focused on drinking with his son. What Long Chen hadn't expected was that his father would have such shocking talent at making wine. The realm within this wine was not inferior to the disciples of the wine god palace. When he thought about it, he supposed it was understandable. The wine god palace's disciples had their own past lives. The wine they made expressed those pasts. Long Xiang Xiao had once been an extremely respected Marquis who led the Empire's army and protected the people. He had also once lived a glorious life. Now, he had shed his armor and returned to being a commoner. All he had experienced had led him to have a high mental realm. If it weren't for his limited natural talent, with that kind of comprehension ability, he might have made shocking advancements in cultivation. After he had a chance to immerse himself in the Wine God Palace, his wine-making arts progressed rapidly. Long Chen thought back to the past. Perhaps this was all fate. From the day Long Xiang Xiao accepted Long Chen and raised him as his own child, 
he and his wife had been fated to be implicated by Long Chen. It was because of Long Chen that the two of them had been forced to leave their home and all the family they had had. They had sacrificed a great deal. To see them being able to live happily here brought Long Chen joy and relief. It was a simple meal, but it had been especially sweet to Dong Mingyu. After drinking, Long Xiaoyu immediately wanted to bring this new little big sister of hers to the Imperial Palace to look at the decorative lanterns. However, this suggestion was instantly shot down by Mrs. Long, the reason being that Long Xiaoyu had not done even a bit of her homework today. All she thought about was playing. Mom, she can be half a day behind in her homework. We have a guest. Xiaoyu is like a host, and to properly treat guests as a host is the right thing for a courteous person. Long Chen smiled. Fine, fine, but remember to make up for it, said Mrs. Long. Actually, Mrs. Long wasn't really going to say no. She just wanted to give Long Xiaoyu a fright and remind her of her homework. A mischievous child couldn't be given free reign. He, big brother is the best. Little big sister, let's go. Aya, I almost forgot. Mom, can I have some money to buy some sweets for little big sister? Any trace of tears of resentment in Long Xiaoyu's eyes had vanished without a trace. She extended her childish hands at Mrs. Long. Mrs. Long glared at Long Xiaoyu, between laughter and tears. This child switched from crying to laughter in an instant. After that, Mrs. Long gave her two gold coins and told her that she could buy anything she liked. In the Grand Shia, the commoners used regular currency. These two golden coins were a significant sum to an ordinary commoner. Although Mrs. Long was not lacking money, she didn't want Long Xiaoyu to become entitled. Even if she was a little girl, they had to have some independence. That was why Mrs. Long had asked the Grand Xia's royalty to treat Long Xiaoyu as an ordinary child and not let her feel superior to others. The worst case would be if she was decked in lavish and extravagant gifts. Long Xiaoyu hugged her mother and gave her a kiss. She then ran out while holding Dong Mingyu's hand. Her laughter rang out from the path, making Long Chen smile. The arrival of Long Xiaoyu had brought his family much merriment. Long Chen wanted to thank Long Xiaoyu for bringing his family a sense of completion and joy. I'll go tell the imperial bodyguards to look after their safety, said Long Xiangxiao. Although the high priest never mentioned anything about Long Chen's dire straits to Long Xiangxiao, ever since their kidnapping in the eastern wasteland, Long Xiangxiao had become particularly careful not to have any of them used as hostages against Long Chen. No need to worry, with her present. No one can threaten their safety, said Long Chen. What kind of joke was that? With the Martial Heaven Continent's number one assassin present, safety was no issue. His father was actually treating Dong Mingyu as a regular child without realizing that she was an existence that terrified countless experts. This couldn't be blamed on Long Xiangxiao. Dong Mingyu's face was quite innocent, looking just like a delicate maiden. No one would imagine that she could kill without even blinking. Even when she had revealed her face in front of the Yunyang world, people still didn't dare to believe their eyes. After chatting with his parents for a while, Long Chen learned that his mother was always dissatisfied with how naughty Long Xiaoyu was and how she didn't properly do her homework. Long Xiangxiao had always been a steady figure, but after Long Xiaoyu was born, the two of them were given constant headaches by just how naughty she was. Although Long Chen had been naughty as well, it hadn't been so exaggerated. Long Chen smiled. Xiaoyu is just like me. The only reason I wasn't so naughty was because I wasn't qualified when he was just a child. The Long family had been thrown into a tumultuous situation. He had been forced to be a good child to avoid causing more trouble for his family. But now... Long Xiaoyu could cause as much trouble as she wanted. With the Wine God Palace's support, there was no need to suppress her childish nature. Long Chen even suspected that his character might not have been influenced by the Pill Sovereign's memories, but due to how hard he had suppressed himself as a child. After talking with his parents, Long Chen stood and left for the High Priest's residence. He felt that the High Priest had wanted to tell him something before but hadn't had a good chance to say it. Chapter 2209 Immemorial Spirit Race Come. Sit. When Long Chen arrived, the high priest had prepared the wine. 
In the wine god palace, there had to be wine for treating guests. It was just like tea in the rest of the world. Long Chen sat. High priest. It seemed that you had some advice for this little one before the high priest smiled and shook his hand. I wouldn't call it advice. There are just some things I should inform you about. With the young lady from the blood kill hall present, it wasn't convenient for me to say anything. So I left it until now. This relates to how you should extract the divine seed. You can test it out yourself. The high priest handed Long Chen a strip of beast hide. But before Long Chen could read it, the high priest continued. Did you know? Just as you left the battlefield, the four divines writ came down. The four divines writ? What is that? Asked Long Chen. The four divines writ is a symbol of the divine family's communication. Counting this time, it has only appeared three times throughout history, said the high priest. Divine families? As in families of all gods. Long Chen jumped in shock. The high priest shook his head. No, the divine families have nothing to do with gods. The divine aspect is merely a respectful way to refer to their position. Only then did Long Chen feel a bit better. If there were entire families of gods, then they would definitely exceed his current understanding. The high priest continued. The divine families are actually an extremely ancient race called the immemorial spirit race. It is said that they have preserved the human race's purest, most original bloodline. They have the talent to innately awaken their spirit blood as soon as they are born. They are born Empyreans with awakened bloodlines, exclaimed Long Chen. No, not all of them are Empyreans. They are simply born with the spirit blood that allows them to awaken their manifestation. Others have to awaken their manifestation step by step and they stimulate their bloodline at the end to form a resonance with their manifestation. In the cultivation world, there is something called essence and function. The manifestation is function, while spirit blood is essence. Only once you have the essence can you have the function. But for most of us, we have to use the function to slowly awaken our essence. That is because our bloodlines are no longer pure. But the immemorial spirit races people have their spirit blood naturally woken. As long as they are not lazy, at least half of them end up becoming Empyreans with awakened manifestations they're that powerful. This was Long Chen's first time hearing of such a terrifying existence on the Martial Heaven continent. Wasn't this too exaggerated? Others had to cultivate with their lives on the line, while for them, as long as they weren't lazy, they could reach the same level. Long Chen, do you know the prerequisites to become a sovereign? asked the high priest. Long Chen shook his head. The spirit blood is the guide. The spirit root is the seed. And the spirit bone is the foundation. When all three are together, the Tao will manifest within the body and cause the heavens to acknowledge them. That is a sovereign, said the high priest profoundly. I'm not interested. I don't have any of that. Long Chen shrugged. Although he had been prepared for that, he was still irritated. He had originally had those requirements, but they had been stolen by someone. Even now, he didn't know who had done it. The high priest nodded. Spirit blood is only the simplest requirement and the guide. The real problems are the spirit root and spirit bone. That is also often called the root bone by others. The spirit root is something you know. It is categorized into five ranks on the martial heaven continent. The lowest being bronze and the highest being violet gold. Toward the later stages of cultivation, the spirit root is mostly ignored. As for the spirit bone. It is not used for appraising the talent of a genius. These two things don't have much use before the spirit blood awakens. But after it, it can nourish the spirit root and spirit bone, opening up the path of a true expert. However, the immemorial spirit race is born with their spirit blood awakened. They are born with their spirit blood nourishing their spirit root and spirit bone. So you should prepare yourself. The experts of the immemorial spirit race are very powerful. Just what is this immemorial spirit race? Asked Long Chen, still confused. Why would the divine family suddenly appear out of nowhere? They are called the protectors of the entire world. They had countless glorious achievements, but after the first dark era descended, they were heavily injured and retreated to look after themselves. At that time, just as the continent's powers were smashed apart and scattered, just as countless sects were destroyed and the entire continent was on the verge of destruction as well, the first generation sovereign, Yun Shang, rose, 
he united the races on the continent and forced back the invaders, giving the martial heaven continent a chance to recover. Sovereign Yun Chang was the first sovereign, and the only one to suddenly soar against that kind of adversity. He was the only sovereign who did not experience the Qi flow eruption. After that, the divine families were silent for many years. Their ruling era was ended by the first dark era. After that came the time of the five sovereigns. The divine families also appeared during those times to help the sovereigns, but their light was eclipsed by the sovereigns. The last time the divine families appeared on the continent was a dark era 43,000 years ago. The dark era from that time was not particularly large in scope, but it was the divine families that allowed the continent to pass through that tribulation. That was how their name once more resounded across the continent. But ever since then, they've been silent. For them to come out now while there is still no clear candidate for the next sovereign indicates that the divine families might be leading the upcoming battles in the dark era. I explain this to you so that you understand what the divine families are. If your light is too bright, you'll draw their attention. Long Chen was silent for a moment. They want to lead the upcoming battles? To tell the truth, I look forward to that. I never wanted to stand out. If they have the power, then I hope they use it well. If they need to cooperate with me, since they are a part of the Martial Heaven continent, we can naturally work together for the continent. But if they start to play with me, then sorry, I don't care if they're the Divine Families or the Ghost Families. Long Chen knew that the High Priest was referring to the fact that when the Divine Families came to lead the future battles, the powers of the continent would be forced to listen to their arrangements. Long Chen had never been good at listening to other people's orders. Furthermore, with the Dragonblood Legion's power, the Divine Families would definitely not be able to ignore them. When the time came, if the Divine Families' orders differed from Long Chen's desire, a conflict would be inevitable. Long Chen's meaning was also clear. If the Divine Families were so amazing, then they could save this world. The Dragonblood Legion would assist them. But that didn't mean that they had the authority to order the Dragonblood Legion around. Other than that, I have another piece of bad news. Do you remember Dishin whom you killed? Asked the high priest Novaloon.com I remember him. That person was raised into an idiot. I can't forget him even if I want to. What? Is there some problem? Long Chen's impression of that idiot was still strong in his mind. At that time, his mother had even threatened Long Chen. Saying that Di Xin was still a child. That was why Long Chen had let him off easy and given him a chance to reincarnate. The problem isn't with him but his mother. I have heard that she comes from one of the divine families. Said the high priest. How could that be? Didn't you say that the divine families have been gone from the continent for thousands of years? The divine families have truly been gone. But that doesn't represent that they are isolated from the world. Don't you think it's curious how Di Long could be publicly scorned, insulted, and cursed by his wife with him only being able to accept it silently? There's also the fact that Mo Gate was so powerful back in the day, with a pair of sages, just as they were about to reach an unprecedented era, they were destroyed overnight. Some things simply cannot be said, but if you think about it, it's not impossible to notice the answers, said the high priest profoundly. Long Chen's heart pounded wildly. To put it like this, the D family had been supported by the Divine Families. As for Mo Gate, it had been destroyed precisely because of the Divine Families. Long Chen suddenly understood why when he asked Mo Nian if he wanted to reclaim the ancient family alliance for Mo Gate, Mo Nian always shook his head. Long Chen had always thought it was simply because Mo Nian was too lazy and liked his freedom. But in reality, he must have known that the divine families were related to the destruction of his clan. His enemies were far too powerful. So powerful that he didn't even have the courage to get revenge against them. Just what were the divine families thinking? If they were the protectors of the continent, they should be fighting openly and honorably. Why would they do something so petty in the dark? Why would they interfere in personal enmities between families? Was it just to control the ancient family alliance? Just what would their goal be in that? The high priest hadn't actually said much about this matter, but it was enough to raise Long Chen's guard. The waters of the Martial Heaven continent were truly deep, frighteningly deep. 
If the ancient family alliance had such powerful secret supporters, then what about the other powers of the continent? The Xuan beasts? Pill Valley? Long Chen's gaze gradually grew cold. It didn't matter how complicated the power structure of the continent was. It had nothing to do with him. If someone provoked him, he would kill them. That was all. After Long Chen left the high priest's residence, he found that Long Xiaoyu and Dong Mingyu had yet to return. Today was actually the lantern festival of the Grand Xia, the biggest celebration for the commoners. The entire capital was lit up in beautiful colored lanterns, while many young men and women were out playing until the sun rose. By staying awake as dawn broke, it symbolized the blessing of good luck. Seeing Long Chen return, Mrs. Long put a blue scarf on his neck. Mom, it's not cold. Why do I have to wear a scarf? With my current constitution, it's not even possible for me to get a chill, said Long Chen laughingly. Just wear it. This scarf is actually for Xiaoyu, but I haven't put a scarf on you in so long. I want to try to find that old feeling again. Mrs. Long carefully wrapped the scarf all around Long Chen's neck. She then tidied up his hair and nodded. Only then did she let him leave. When Long Chen walked out, he saw Long Xiang Xiao's back facing him, his shoulders trembling, most likely from laughter. Long Chen also laughed, leaving the wine god palace. Long Chen went to the imperial palace. As a result, he had barely gotten anywhere before two young ladies holding hands saw Long Chen. Their eyes lit up and they walked over to him. Chapter 2210 Getting conned Long Chen was startled as he didn't know these two people. He looked around but didn't see anyone else. The two of them were definitely coming toward him. Ladies, Long Chen was about to speak when one of them stuck a small cotton ball to his scarf. The cotton ball was pink, representing the heart. There were some small barbs that kept it attached to his scarf. If he tore it off, it would rip out some strands from his scarf. This, Long Chen was lost. These two women looked like proper ladies, but they actually liked to mess around with people like this. Before he could finish speaking, the other one also stuck a cotton ball to his scarf. After finishing, the two women blushed and ran off, leaving behind only their tinkling laughter. Something seems off. Long Chen suddenly thought of his father's laughter as he had walked out as well as his mother's somewhat odd actions. It seemed that he had been conned. Continuing on his way, Long Chen suddenly saw a group of men wearing white robes and scholar bands on their heads. They carried white paper fans. They were tottering, seemingly drunk. Based on their apparel, they were scholars from some academy, and their cultivation bases weren't bad either. At such a young age, they had reached the foundation forging realm. However, with the way they were swaggering about, Long Chen felt that they would need to at least be at the Nether Passage realm to have such arrogance. They were tottering side to side like crabs as if this giant road wasn't enough for the eight of them. Long Chen saw scarves on their necks as well, and the color was the same as his. He instantly understood that this blue scarf represented something. Furthermore, those people's scarves also had many cotton balls on them, with the fewest having only seven and the most having over ten. Those people saw Long Chen and his scarf and instantly became disdainful. They began walking directly toward him. They want to bump into me. Long Chen was speechless. He didn't care. So he got out of the path. But that group became even more unbearable. HMPH. He doesn't even dare to reveal his identity plate. He either has no status or is a country bumpkin from outside. Sneered one. Only then did Long Chen notice the jade plates on their waists indicating that they came from the Grand Xia Scholar Mansion. That was a high-level academy in the Grand Xia where both culture and martial arts were taught. The people inside were all talented, and many would become officials in the government in the future. Of course, some people only joined in order to get that status. Some rich families would send their children there just to win some face. Long Chen had heard of this place and he knew that although they did martial arts as well, it was the scholar aspect that was focused on. At the same time as he read the Grand Xia's scholar mansion on their jade plates, he also saw a small outer character written on it, meaning that they weren't even the top students of the academy. Long Chen smiled. Looking down on others to make yourself look stronger was just a display of those who felt inferior. Why bother talking with them? Inside the Grand Xia, 
Long Chen had a layer of spiritual strength covering his face to make sure that others couldn't recognize him. After all, he had once been the mighty national protector. So many people inside the capital recognized him. By covering up his face and not revealing his identity plate, these people assumed that Long Chen's status was so low that he was embarrassed to reveal it. Long Chen continued onward and saw another man with a scarf who wasn't revealing his identity plate. However, that man seemed dispirited. His clothes were new, but Long Chen saw that the insides of his sleeves were worn. Clearly, he was so poor that he couldn't even buy a new set of clothes and was forced to only buy an outer robe, while his inner robes were still broken down from use. Brother, why are you sighing? Long Chen took the initiative in greeting him. Sir, you are. The man was startled and hastily tried to bow. What sir? We're both the same. Let us share our misery. Long Chen waved his hand and put on a bitter expression. Sir must be joking. You already have two ladies willing to sing you the song of their hearts. And you aren't satisfied. The dejected man shook his head. I saw some people with ten each just pass. I almost died of envy and tried to snatch them away. So tell me, these cotton balls, they're heart jewels, corrected the man. Right, these heart jewels, what's the story behind them? I hope you won't laugh at me, but I don't have much learning. I feel like a scholarly man such as yourself can simplify it for me, said Long Chen with a smile. The sad man shook his head, sighing. What's the point of reading a hundred useless books? No matter how much I read, what's the point? People's hearts are all ostentatious. Sorry for being rude. I shouldn't be complaining. The heart jewels became popular during the time of Princess Xia Yun during the Grand Xia's Wu Da era. Princess Xia Yun was very kind and lively. Once, she snuck out of the palace to play and accidentally brushed against someone while they were looking at the lanterns by the river. One of her heart-shaped hairpins snagged on that person's scarf. Because of the hooks on the hairpin, it was stuck firmly to that person's scarf. They spent a long time before managing to extricate the hairpin without damaging the scarf. After working together on that, they actually grew friendly and continued to meet. But later on, their relationship was discovered by the Imperial Palace. And at that time, the Imperial family's rule was that the princesses could not marry commoners. The person she had bumped into then went into the military and in just over 10 years, went from a common foot soldier into the position of general through his accomplishments. However, during a fierce battle against barbarians, he was shot in the eye, feeling that he was no longer fit for the princess. He silently left. However, just as he left the army, the princess ran over, bringing her entire dari with her. In the end, they married. The story between them circulated throughout the commoners, and later, it became custom for unmarried young men and women to flirt during the Lantern Festival. The men would wear scarves, while the women would place their heart jewels on the scarves of the men they liked. The heart jewels are actually a tiny lock that can be opened with no key. Inside is a slip of paper with the girl's information on it. If you feel like there's a tie between you and her, you can use that information to start a relationship with her. The man sighed deeply. It seemed he had been looking for that fabled soulmate, but he hadn't found her. Long Chen rolled his eyes. No wonder his father had been laughing. So Long Chen had been tricked into going out for courting. This made Long Chen think of the Phoenix Cry Empire's Lantern Festival. After being away for so many years, he ended up running into a similar custom here. At that time, Shai Feng, Fatty Yu, Shai Ho, and him had all been companions. Recalling it. Long Chen felt as if it was just yesterday. What are you sighing about? As a man, you have to stand up straight. What? Can you not bear it? Do you want to seek death to end it all? Long Chen's lip curled. How? How did you know? Just how strong was Long Chen's spiritual strength? He had easily read that person's spiritual fluctuations. This fellow had grown tired of life and was thinking of death. Speak. If you have troubles. Perhaps I can help you once, said Long Chen. I, I was harmed by others. They destroyed my certificate of acceptance. So I was unable to enter the Grand Zaya Scholar Mansion. I have no way to right this wrong. I spent my final coin on buying a new robe to see if I can find someone who has the slightest good feelings toward me before dying. That way, I could die without regrets. But, 
I didn't even encounter one. Long Chen shook his head. If I hadn't said that I would help you, I really wouldn't help someone like you. Rather than thinking about how to solve your problems, you want to use death to avoid them? Useless is an appropriate word for people like you. Don't tell me that you worked hard, that your luck was bad, that those people were evil. As long as you live in this world, no one has it easy. Remember this if you feel that life is easy, then there are definitely people carrying the burden of your life for you. If you rely on a mountain, the mountain will collapse one day. If you rely on your father, your father will age one day. If you're weak, the troubles will be strong. If you're strong, the troubles will be weak. In life, if you want to pass a mountain, open a path. If you want to cross a river, build a bridge. There are plenty of people less fortunate than you in this world. They don't have time to complain or cry because they cannot avoid this reality. They know they have a heavy burden on their shoulders, and that this burden will be passed on to the others beside them if they die, making their lives even more difficult. People can't be too selfish. Just as Long Chen was chiding the man, he suddenly noticed that quite a few people had come over, staring in shock at him. Perhaps Long Chen was too good at showing off, but some of the ladies were looking at him worshipfully like he was a great scholar. Sir, I understand. The man suddenly bowed deeply toward him and turned to leave. Hey, wait a moment. I have a tablet here. Take it, and your problem will be easily resolved. Called out Long Chen. The man looked back and smiled. If I take your tablet, I might be able to resolve my current problem but no one will be giving me a second tablet when the next issue comes. So I'll resolve things myself. I will not forget the favor of your teachings, sir. He once more bowed toward Long Chen and left. Ten years later, a great scholar would rise. Long Chen stared blankly for a while. He had originally wanted to help him, only to end up scolding him away. He felt like he had gone a bit too far this time. After that person's departure, Long Chen felt odd being stared at by so many people. He put away his tablet and left. Did you see that tablet of his? I only saw a part of it. It said National Protector, but I didn't see the rest. National Protector. General Long Chen. By the time they reacted, Long Chen had vanished. Chapter 2211 Once more coming in the future. I should get rid of this habit of shooting off my mouth. Seeing someone who wanted to die. Long Chen had gotten angry as no one cherished life more than him. Only people who often risked their own lives would know just how valuable life was. For someone to not want their own life, Long Chen really wanted to slap them. Long Chen quickly arrived at the riverside. This was actually a moat that had been created in the city, and both sides were filled with people. These people didn't just come from Grand Xia. Many were tourists who had been drawn over by this attraction. The arch bridge itself was also filled with people as well as beautiful lanterns. The lanterns dotted the river like stars in the night sky. There were men and women praying before sending their lanterns into the river. The lanterns lazily floated away. On the two sides of the river were countless shops. The sound of them shouting prices and haggling was very loud. Long Chen closed his eyes and quickly sensed Dong Mingyu. Due to the medicinal pill he had given her, he was able to easily locate her. She and Long Xiaoya were together, both of them holding a candied fruit skewer and laughing. Long Chen smiled. When he opened his eyes, he was speechless as he noticed that several more heart jewels had been stuck to his scarf. He didn't even know who had put them there. He reached out to take off the scarf, but then he found that every man present was wearing one. If he took it off, it would make him conspicuous. Thinking about it, he gave up and just walked over to Dong Mingyu. Dong Mingyu noticed him when he was still a while away. She pulled Long Xiaoyu over to him. Big brother, you're here too. Great, we're out of money, and we still haven't bought a lot of good stuff. As soon as Long Chen arrived, Long Xiaoyu passed her candy to Long Chen, had him eat a bite, and then immediately mentioned her lack of money. Long Chen pinched Long Xiaoyu's little face. She really was a little sprite, knowing how to weasel money out of people. What did you buy that two gold coins weren't enough? Asked Long Chen. Those two gold coins were a year's income to a commoner. The prices within the Grand Shia were not so extravagant. We ate it all. We went down the entire street. Ah, 
I also bought a few small trinkets. Look, Long Xiaoyu opened her small backpack. Are you planning on opening a business? Is this your stock? Long Chen saw a backpack full of hairpins, bracelets, and all kinds of ornaments. There had to be hundreds of them. The craftsmanship was good, so they probably weren't cheap. But this was way too many. He, I know that mom rarely buys any jewelry for herself. I got some for her. It'll make her feel young and beautiful. I also have many good sisters in my school. They've given me gifts before, but I haven't been able to give them anything. Don't you think that's bad? Said Long Xiaoyu. Fine, you little sprite. You always have excuses. Long Chen helplessly shook his head. Actually, she still has some money. We've only spent half. Dong Mingyu transmitted a message to Long Chen. Although Dong Mingyu wasn't quite familiar with the concept of money, she had kept track of how much Long Xiaoyu had spent and how much remained. So, this girl was actually starting her own savings. Fine. Long Chen didn't expose her. Let's go. I'll bring you around. And if you want anything, just ask. Long Chen held Long Xiaoyu and Dong Mingyu's hands as they walked. A rare smile appeared on Dong Mingyu's face. So Long Chen asked Dong Mingyu, How do you feel? Dong Mingyu looked at him. My world was black before. You brought a ray of sunlight. But here, I feel like the world has color. I like this feeling. This world is actually quite beautiful. Although we often see ugly things, they can't conceal the beauty of the world. The sun illuminates the earth, but darkness always comes. This exchange of yin and yang is life. No matter how bright the sun is, there are always shadows in corners it can't reach. We cannot treat things as absolutes. Just use your heart to sense the world and you will find many things worth cherishing. Transmitted back Long Chen. Long Chen knew that Dong Mingyu was wary of this world. To get used to it this world would take time. However, every time she saw someone stick a heart jewel onto Long Chen's scarf, Dong Mingyu's gaze would change slightly. You er, are you alright? Asked Long Chen. I'm fine. I feel great. Dong Mingyu smiled suddenly. Good. Long Chen nodded. He had just noticed one of Dong Mingyu's sensitive areas. She looked 14 years old and looked immature, but she had actually spent 10 years in the killing god space so that she would never look older. Hence, she was sensitive toward this aspect of her appearance. She didn't want Long Chen to view her as a child. Long Chen's years of training with Wei Ying Tang Wan Er's words and observing the slightest changes in her expression were finally paying off. Just now, he had called Dong Mingyu Little Yu. After hearing that, Dong Mingyu was very happy. Continuing onward, Long Chen noticed hundreds of experts secretly keeping an eye on them. Long Chen knew that those people were protecting Long Xiaoyu. The Grand Xia's imperial family cared deeply about Long Xiaoyu's safety. There were hundreds of life star experts disguised as ordinary people following her. However, it seemed that Long Chen's disguise was too good. They didn't recognize him, so their guards were raised. Long Chen was truly grateful to the Grand Xia. Long Xiaoyu constantly picked out things that she wanted. It was like she finally had a chance to be a big spender. However, she only picked out cheap things. Suddenly, fireworks began to explode in the sky. Their light illuminating the capital. The festival's starting. We have to hurry, cried out Long Xiaoyu. She began to run, and Long Chen looked at where the fireworks were coming from. That place was very far, and although Long Xiaoyu had started to cultivate, she was still in the Qi gathering realm. For her to run over would take at least two hours. Grabbing her, he pressed down with his foot and the three of them vanished from the crowd. Those experts protecting Long Xiaoyu were all badly startled. Just at that moment, Long Chen's voice rang out in their heads. I am Long Chen, so you don't need to worry. Many thanks for your care for my little sister. This spiritual message was not an area message but directed at each and every one of them. That man had been Long Chen? They actually hadn't recognized him. With Long Chen present, they naturally didn't need to protect Long Xiaoyu. They were grateful for this message. Or if they had allowed Long Xiaoyu to simply vanish from sight, they would have been heavily punished. They were also emotional that Long Chen would actually personally thank them. 
from the battle during the Qi Flow eruption to the fight against the emperors to how long Chen had called a sovereign brother, his status was incomparable. After that, they disbanded, returning to their headquarters to receive new orders. Wow, big brother, you're amazing. When can I do this too? Long Xiaoyu cried out in delight. She felt like they had just teleported to where she wanted to go. Take it slowly. I'm sure you'll get there soon enough. Long Chen smiled comfortingly. At first, Long Chen had wanted to use medicinal pills to change Long Xiaoyu's constitution. Her innate talent was very ordinary, so she wouldn't be able to walk far on the path of cultivation. The Xianchen realm would probably be her limit. By using medicinal pills, he could change that. However, he had asked the opinion of his parents, and they had vetoed him. It seemed that after experiencing so much, their mental realms had grown very high. They felt that some things should simply be taken naturally. Although they didn't understand the karma of the cultivation world, they felt that each person had their own fate, and they had to make their own decisions about their fate. Other people's help wasn't necessarily a good thing. That was why Long Xiaoya was still focusing on her studies, with cultivation being secondary to someone who was so lively that she couldn't calm her heart. Cultivation was a bitter process. Long Xiaoyu preferred to do a bit of everything. Her envy and worship over this little skill were just temporary. When she had to really sit down and focus on her bitter cultivation, she would start crying. So Long Chen could only comfort her like this. Long Chen recognized the area they were in. It was the Heavenly Cloud Platform, also known as the Star Peering Platform. It was the highest building in the Grand Xia's capital, and from here, it was possible to see most of the city. Back in the day, Long Chen had been given the title of National Protector and put in charge of receiving the Grand Han Ancient Nations delegation. At that time, he had watched the Grand Han's delegation put on an absolutely melodramatic play on top of the Heavenly Cloud platform. He had almost puked. Also, a zither master from the Grand Han had tried to make things hard on him, and he had immediately started bragging on a divine level that had stumped her. Just thinking about it made him emotional. At that time, Shia Yaoluo had been an immature child, but after going through the battle in the Four Nations Ancient Remnant, she had instantly matured, so quickly that it was sad. Big brother, I want to go watch the play. Can I? Just as Long Chen was recalling his memories of the Heavenly Cloud Pavilion, they arrived at the entrance. Long Xiaoya was looking at the guard. Yes, yes of course. The guard hadn't noticed at first, but he quickly recognized Long Xiaoyu. In the Grand Xia, even the princes and princesses were nice to Long Xiaoyu. Thank you, big brother. Long Xiaoyu smiled and thanked him. Long Chen nodded. At least this child was thoughtful. Out of the way. Just as the three of them were about to enter, a cold shout came from behind them. A group of people stamped in, almost crashing into Long Xiaoyu. Chapter 2212 The Remains Returned to Haunt Long Chen Frowned. Just who was so arrogant? Long Chen pulled back Long Xiaoyu, avoiding those people. What surprised Long Chen was that these people were actually wearing the robes of the Grand Han Ancient Nation. Most of them had reached the peak of the Life Star Realm. Behind them was a group of old people in grey robes. There was golden embroidery around their sleeves and a cloud pattern on the front of their robes. These elders were all nether passage experts. Hold it. You dare to be rude to Miss Xiaoyu. The guards got angry at their disregard for Long Xiaoyu's safety and immediately raised their spears. Which little fly dares to block my path? Scram. From the Grand Han's group of experts, a young man with a violet gold crown snorted. It was just a snort, but it contained a powerful spiritual pressure. These guards were only at the foundation forging realm. As a result, this snort instantly knocked them back. Blood poured out of their seven orifices. Experts with awakened spirit blood. Now Long Chen was even more surprised. That person's spirit blood was awakened. But he didn't recall seeing this person in front of the Yun Yang world. Courting death. Dong Mingyu's expression became cold but Long Chen pulled her back. The guards were only knocked unconscious, and there was no danger to their lives. He wanted to see just what these people were doing. That man with the crown only targeted the guards and hadn't even glanced at anyone else. Just like that, 
he barged in. He hadn't noticed Long Chen or Dong Mingyu, making Long Chen sneer. Although the two of them had disguised themselves, any real expert's sharp intuition would have been able to sense them. Just from this, it was possible to tell that although his spirit blood was awakened, his true combat power could only be called average. He was a far cry from Tian Zizi or Kun Pengzi. Countless experts began to rush over after hearing the disturbance. However, the crowned man only snorted and charged through anyone in his way. It was possible to directly fly or jump to the top of the heavenly cloud platform. But these people refused to. They charged their way up. Long Chen pulled Long Xiaoyu and Dong Mingyu behind him, keeping a medium distance behind this group. There was constant shouting as people tried to stop them, but they didn't have the ability to. They quickly arrived at the top of the heavenly cloud platform. As a result, the performance on the grand stage had stopped because of these people. The performers were staring at them in surprise. The tens of thousands of people were all startled by this interruption. They were mostly descendants of the officials in the Grand Shia, as only youngsters were participating in the Lantern Festival. Who are you to dare to cause trouble here? shouted someone from the stage. The speaker was one of the Grand Xia's princes, Xia Yanchang. Beside him was the crown prince, Xia Yanfeng. Xia Yaoluo was also present. Xia Yanchang and Xia Yaoluo both had angry expressions. This was a slap in the Grand Xia's face. Who are we? Are you blind? Don't you even recognize the robes of the Grand Han's imperial family? The Grand Xia, Grand Chu, and Grand Zhou used despicable methods to throw my nation into chaos and slaughter our commoners. Today, I, Han Zijin, have come to demand an explanation from the Grand Xia. If you don't give me a satisfactory explanation, I will destroy your capital city. The crowned man sneered. Big words. With just you. Xia Yanchang furiously walked forward, brushing past Xia Yanfeng that was holding him back. He smashed a fist at the crowned man. This fist had all Xia Yanchang's power concentrated in one spot. It wouldn't harm anyone other than the crowned man. At this time, Xia Yanchang's cultivation base had reached the 8th heaven stage of life star and adding on his undefeatable Dao. His power was shocking. An ant dares to fight against a dragon. The crowned man who had called himself Han Zijin looked down on Xia Yanchang disdainfully. He raised a hand. Xia Yanchang's fierce fist was caught by Han Zijin's hand. After that, Xia Yanchang froze as he realized that his opponent's power far surpassed his. He couldn't even pull back his fist. Scram. Han Zijin waved his hand, sending Xia Yanchang flying toward the stage. If he struck it, the stage would explode, and the performers would definitely be killed. Nine dragon images appeared behind Xia Yanchang, and he forcibly stabilized himself in the air. HMPH, you even extracted the dragon vein energy of my Grand Han. Today, no matter what, I'll be taking it back with interest. Han Zijin wasn't just looking at Xia Yanchang. His gaze encompassed the princes from the Grand Zhou and Grand Chu. This lantern festival was a grand occasion, so princes from the Grand Zhou and Grand Chu had been invited. This Han Zijin had come prepared. All the experts' expressions changed. Some of them began to run. Don't move. Otherwise, you'll die. Shouted Han Zijin. Those runners instantly came to a terrified stop. Bastard. If you have the guts, then let's fight outside the city. Roared Xia Yanchang furiously. And his manifestation rumbled behind him. The nine dragons connected with their dragon vein. The karmic luck of the Grand Xia. However. This was the capital of the Grand Shia. If he fought here all out, then countless commoners would die. Novaloon.com An ant who hasn't even awakened their spirit blood isn't qualified to fight me. Emperor of the Grand Shia, get the hell out here. If you don't give me an explanation, then I, Han Zijin, will destroy your capital city, shouted Han Zijin, his voice resounding through the city, causing countless commoners to turn pale. In their fright, they began to flee. Countless hearts tightened. In their panic, the crying of children could be heard. HMPH. Big words. I want to see if you really have that ability. The Emperor of the Grand Shia, Shia Yuyang, appeared. Beside him was the same white haired elder, Shia Yanchang's master. At the same time, other experts of the Grand Shia arrived, surrounding the heavenly cloud platform. 
Xia Yuyang's bearing was as steady as when Long Chen had first met him. He looked at Han Zijin coldly. Your Grand Han's evil actions have consequences, and they are your own responsibility. Don't blame the gods or other people. Bullshit. It was your three nations that envied my Grand Han's culture and foundation. Fearing our power, you set up a sinister scheme to harm us. You invaded our great nation, stole our resources, and extracted the karmic luck of our dragon vein. The most shameless people in the world are you. All the Grand Zaya's legacies were stolen from my Grand Han. Who knows what unimaginable crimes you thieves have done without people knowing, shouted Han Zijin. Hearing this, Long Chen nodded. Surprising Dong Mingyu, big brother Long Chen, do you approve of his words? Long Chen shook his head. No, I'm just amazed that someone could be so shameless. Only the Grand Han's people have the bravery to say such shameless things. Other people simply can't learn this skill. Because of it, I can definitely confirm that he comes from the Grand Han. There's no way to imitate this shamelessness. The difficulty of such a thing is on the same level as defying the heavens. Before this, Long Chen had suspected that someone was disguising themselves as being from the Grand Han to cause trouble. But after hearing this, Long Chen was sure they were from the Grand Han. It was just that he was curious how that was possible. In the Four Nations Ancient Remnant, he had slain the Grand Han's princes. That had dealt a serious blow to the Grand Han. Then the Grand Han had held the Dragon Slaughtering Convention. That battle had destroyed the capital of the Grand Han and in their injured state, the imperial family collapsed, ushering in a new age for the Grand Han. There had been no need for anyone else to interfere. They had directly fallen into chaos with a never-ending battle inside their own borders. As for the commoners, there was no way for them to live a peaceful life. What absurd lies. The Grand Han's imperial family held the Dragon Slaughtering Convention despite the opposition from the commoners, which resulted in your capital being destroyed infuriating your commoners, you simply disintegrated, not a single soldier from the Grand Shia, Grand Chu, or Grand Zhou was mobilized, furthermore, your dragon vein was destroyed by yourselves when you fought there, the dragon vein chi merged back into the world and was naturally absorbed by the other three dragon veins inside the ancient nations, these are all the results of the Han imperial family's decisions, for you to blame others now, your Grand Han really is shameless, the three great nations even carved out an area for refugees fleeing your Grand Han to escape the bitterness of war. We've already been merciful, and yet you have the face to say such things, sneered Xia Yuyang. As he shouted, he spoke spiritually to the elder beside him. I already sent people to the Wine God Palace for assistance. Why is there no reply? From the moment Han Zijin had appeared, Xia Yuyang had known that things were bad. The other side had come prepared and the current Grand Shia was unable to handle such an existence. So he had asked for help from the Wine God Palace. According to reason, even if the Wine God Palace refused to send help, they should have sent a reply. But there was no movement from them. So Shia Yuyang could only do his best to stall. The Wine God Palace just sent a reply. Telling us not to worry, said the white-haired elder. Hearing that, Shia Yuyang was much more at ease. His confidence grew. You're the one making up lies. You were merciful? You set up a place for refugees? What a joke. Just listen to the heartfelt cries of those refugees shouted Han Zijin. Suddenly, a flying boat appeared in the sky. There were countless commoners of the Grand Han on top, their clothes in tatters and their faces covered in filth. They began to cry out, pointing at Xia Yuyang. You bastards. You treated us as slaves using us for constant labor. Many of us were starved to death. You beasts. We wish we could treat you the way you treated us. As they began to shout, everyone in the Grand Zaya's capital began to grow furious. I see killing intent appearing in their eyes. Chapter 2213 is the name Long Chen something you can say? Imperial father. I said it. Didn't I? These thankless wretches would never grow up. We gave them food. We gave them water. And even at this time, they want to take a bite out of us. Xia Yanchong was so furious he wanted to charge over and kill all those people slandering them. Back in the day, when the Grand Han's refugees had started to cause trouble, Xia Yanchong had wanted to expel them. They couldn't keep such ungrateful people. However, in the end, 
the three great nations had come to an agreement, saying that the commoners were innocent. Hence, they had carved out areas of their own territories for the commoners to recover. Using their own treasuries, they supplied the commoners with enough things for them to get through those difficult times. When the battle ended in the Grand Han, they could be sent back. After all, by that time, the Grand Han's inner strife would have weakened it to the point that it would never be a threat again. That feeling of superiority and vanity of the commoners would also be gone by then. It was only due to their benevolence that the three nations had stretched out a helping hand to the refugees. But as a result, that hand was bitten. The refugees were all provided with foodstuffs when their crops failed. Although it wasn't enough for them to live in luxury, they wouldn't starve to death. As for being used as slaves, it was the wildest lie. HMPH, you don't dare to accept your own crimes? You used sinister plots to fracture my grand Han and wipe away our glory of tens of thousands of years. But worst of all, you enslaved our commoners, binding their souls. Your sins can't be counted. Today, I'll be getting justice for the grand Han, declared Han Zijin. The heavenly cloud platform was surrounded by hundreds of thousands of experts. Han Zijin surveyed them and arrogantly claimed, I know what you're thinking. You want the Wine God Palace's help. Let me tell you, the Wine God Palace isn't able to help you. The personal grievances of the four ancient nations are private, so they can't help you. Furthermore, I have invited the outer branches of the Divine Families to bear witness to this. The Divine Families' outer branches. Xia Yuyang's expression changed, and he looked at the elders behind Han Zijin. Those elders didn't say a word. They didn't even look at anyone. It was like everyone else was so negligible that they weren't worth their attention. No one had expected that the Grand Han had the ability to form a relationship with the Divine Family's outer branches. Clearly, they had come to handle the Wine God Palace. If the Wine God Palace took action, then that would be provoking the Divine Families. Most importantly, Han Zijin was correct. The personal grievances of the four nations could only be settled by the four nations. Outsiders were not allowed to interfere. Xia Yuyang's heart dropped. The Wine God Palace had said not to worry, but now he had no confidence. However, as a ruler who had commanded three armies and fought against the barbarians who threatened his borders, he didn't fear any threat. So what? The entire world has seen what the Grand Han has done. No one will stand up for you. Otherwise, that would be an insult to common sense and every person in this world, said Xia Yuyang. The divine family's outer branches had only come to bear witness. They most likely wouldn't be participating in the battle, or that would be going too far. Xia Yuyang first used his words to restrict them. Noisy. Are the divine family's things an ant can evaluate one of the elders of the divine family's opened his eyes. This elder was a third-step nether passage expert. Suddenly, concentrated death energy spread, making people feel like a hand was holding their throats. It was like just a thought would cease their lives. This was the power of a third-step nether passage expert. It was a special position held by those who control death energy. Xia Yuyang and the others were just life star experts and were powerless to resist. You, Xia Yuyang was shocked and infuriated. These outer branches were actually being so tyrannical, using such a method to intimidate others. They were clearly fighting for Han Zijin. Ignorant brat, remember to always treat the divine families with respect, or you won't be qualified to live in this world any longer, sneered that elder. You go too far. Xia Yanchang's rage exploded. This was an intentional insult using his cultivation realm advantage. How was this bearing witness? This was clearly being a mercenary for Han Zijin. Xia Yanchang stepped forward, his manifestation rumbling along with the heavenly Deos and the capital. With the support of the dragon vein energy, he was able to resist the elder's death domain. The suffocating feeling on everyone faded. You dare to be disrespectful to the divine families? Then you will die. The elder's body began to shine. A manifestation appeared behind him, and a terrifying pressure crashed down. Kneel, Han Zijin shouted, his own manifestation rumbling. Countless cries came from the commoners down below. Despicable, if you have the gods, then have a fight outside the city, shouted Xia Yanchang. He didn't dare to go all out here. 
Only certain special buildings would be able to survive if a battle on this level was fought inside the city. Those buildings could be activated during battles to protect the commoners. However, during the Lantern Festival, countless people had gathered here. There was no way for them all to get to safety in time. Hence, Xia Yanchong couldn't attack. I already said you aren't qualified to fight me. You should just obediently kneel, or the Grand Xia's capital is about to be filled with countless aggrieved ghosts. Ha ha ha. Han Zijin laughed, not giving Xia Yanchong a chance. I heard you cultivate the undefeatable Dao? Back in the Four Nations ancient remnant, you already knelt to the Grand Han and begged for mercy. What's wrong with kneeling again? Just at this moment, a ray of sword chi flashed out. It was Xia Yaoluo, but this sword chi was slammed apart by an expert standing beside Han Zijin before it could reach him. That expert looked at Xia Yaoluo and smiled lecherously. The Grand Xia's women are pretty beautiful. But it's unclear just how good their skills in bed are. Die. Zi Yaoluo attacked once more. Yaoluo, don't fall for it. Shouted Xia Yuyang. That person was clearly provoking her. However, Xia Yaoluo's sword was already piercing toward that person's head. That person smiled disdainfully at her. Just like that, he reached out to grab her sword. He didn't even bother to summon his manifestation. Go from White Crane spreads its wings to Poison Dragon strikes from its cave. When his shoulder quivers, switch to White Rainbow pierces the sun. Just at that moment, a spiritual message rang out in Shia Yaoluo's head. That familiar voice made her feel overjoyed. Without thinking about it, her technique changed. Just as that person's hand was about to grasp her sword, she suddenly changed techniques, causing him to clamp his hand down on nothing but air. Just as he stared blankly, Shia Yaoluo's sword had sliced through the air and stabbed toward his abdomen. This sudden change was unexpected, but he snorted and twisted, slamming his hands together and moving them toward Shia Yaoluo's sword. He began to store up energy. Although things looked calm on the surface, he was already starting to use his powerful astral energy. He was planning on snapping Shia Yaoluo's sword. His energy would then shake Shia Yaoluo's insides easily subduing her. However, just as his hands pressed together, Shia Yaoluo turned, her sword hacking toward his head like a saber. What that person was caught completely off guard. He didn't have time to dodge or summon his manifestation. His head exploded, and even Shia Yaoluo was surprised. She really had killed that person. Slot, you're asking for death. The elder from the divine families pointed a finger at Shia Yaoluo. A ray of golden light shot toward her. Bang. The golden light exploded as it struck a small golden bell. Shia Yaoluo was safe and sound. Who is there? Get out here. Demanded the elder. As you wish. A lazy voice rang out and Long Chen slowly walked out. Seeing him, Shia Yuyang and the others were delighted. They hadn't expected Long Chen to appear at this time. Cheering rang out from the young men and women attending the celebrations. That arrogant elder of the divine families twitched. His expression changed as he recognized Long Chen. Long Chen slowly walked to the heavenly cloud platform where Xia Yanchong's manifestation was facing off against Han Zijin's manifestation. When Long Chen walked by Han Zijin, Han Zijin's pupils shrank. Long Chen. Long Chen was just lazily walking by when Han Zijin shouted. Long Chen instantly stopped. His right hand slowly moved toward his left shoulder. And very naturally, the back of his hand whipped across Han Zijin's face in one graceful and flowing motion. Han Zijin spun through the air, stars spinning in his eyes. Long Chen's icy snort rang out in his ears. Is the name Long Chen something you can say? Chapter 2214 Remember this Long Chen ignored the pressure of Han Zijin's manifestation, slapping him with the back of his hand as easily as if he was a disobedient child. Han Zijin's head was spinning. Seeing other people's strange gazes, he let out a furious roar. A sword appeared in his hand. Long Chen's figure flashed, and he once more slapped Han Zijin in the face. This time, Han Zijin spun dozens of times through the air like a spinning top. You even dare to raise a weapon against me? Your guts aren't small. Long Chen slapped him again with the back of his hand, sending him spinning in the opposite direction. His body twisted like dough, and at the same time, Bloody teeth flew through the air like flowers. Long Chen, what are you doing? 
shouted the elder from the outer branches of the divine families. Old ghost, shut your mouth. If you want to keep your teeth, then tighten your fart hole, said Long Chen coldly. Han Zijin stabilized while Long Chen was speaking. His manifestation shook as he activated his spirit blood. After that, the sword in his hand blazed with divine light. The void rumbled as he slashed it at Long Chen. Xia Yanchang was appalled. If this sword landed, then it wouldn't just be the heavenly cloud platform that was destroyed. The entire capital might be turned into ruins. Neil, Long Chen stood with his arms behind his back, not even looking at that sword. He stared only at Han Zijin. With Long Chen's icy gaze locked onto him, Han Zijin felt like he had been cast into the Azura Hell. His entire body turned ice cold. The feeling of death hung over him, telling him that he was about to die. His sword just hung in the air above Long Chen's head. He didn't dare to slash it down, and his hand quivered. Everyone stared in dumbfounded silence. Long Chen was just standing there but that was enough to intimidate Han Zijin to the point that he didn't dare to unleash his attack. If he did unleash it, wouldn't Long Chen die like this? Using his own life to mess around, wasn't Long Chen a bit too crazy? Looking at Long Chen's arrogant figure, Xia Yaoluo thought back to how they had once messed around in the Wine God Palace to get as much wine as possible. It seemed like another lifetime, ever since she had killed herself and then been saved by Long Chen. That childish girl had disappeared, but the price of growing into a different person was that she no longer had an excuse to act like a spoiled child in front of Long Chen like she had back in the Wine God Palace. Neil, don't make me say it again, demanded Long Chen. You, Han Zijin trembled. How could he kneel? What would happen to his dignity? However, Long Chen's eyes were like the eyes of the Grim Reaper. Han Zijin's life was in his hands. If I want to kill you, not even a god would be able to protect you. I'll give you three breaths time. Kneel or die. You decide. Declared Long Chen. Long Chen's killing intent was locked onto Han Zijin. However, Long Chen was actually waiting for the people from the outer branches of the divine families to interfere. Of course, even if they did, Long Chen wouldn't be sparing this arrogant fool who had wanted to make Xia Yanchang kneel. He wanted to be arrogant? Then Long Chen would show him what true arrogance was. Today, if he didn't kneel, then even with the outer branches of the divine families present, Long Chen would kill him. A third step nether passage expert? So what? As long as Long Chen desired it, not one of them would be escaping. Fine, I admit defeat. Han Zijin really did kneel before Long Chen. He stabbed his sword into the ground, and his body was quivering, either from fear or anger. The entire heavenly cloud platform was deathly silent. People didn't dare believe their eyes. The previously mighty Han Zijin had really knelt to Long Chen. Long Chen, as an outsider, you are interfering in the matters of the four nations and have broken the order between them. We came to bear witness to these events, but you interfered. Are you looking down on the divine families demanded the lead elder of the divine families outer branches. Are you an idiot? How am I an outsider? If your eyes aren't blind, take a look at this. What is it? Long Chen took out the tablet on his waist. On the very front of it, it was written National Protector, Great General Long Chen. Long Chen thanked his luck that the person he had tried to give it to had refused. Otherwise, he wouldn't have this proof. Of course, everyone in the Grand Xia could testify to him having received then voice from the Grand Han, but it was better to have physical proof. That elder's expression grew ugly. Long Chen actually had an official position within the Grand Xia, and that meant that he did have an excuse to interfere. Seeing the elder fall silent, Long Chen squatted down to face the unwilling, furious, and terrified Han Zijin. Long Chen patted his face. Little fellow, don't be aggrieved. Think about how arrogant you were when you came in. I've already been very polite. Actually, you're very lucky that you didn't end up killing anyone from the Grand Shia when you barged up here. Otherwise, you wouldn't even have a chance to kneel. Your head would already be in my hand as an offering to the dead. Don't think that you're amazing just because someone awakened your spirit blood and Empyrean manifestation. That manifestation isn't a heaven soul manifestation. Moreover, your foundation is shaky, and your realm is unstable. You don't even have the spiritual perception of a real expert. 
Killing you is as easy as killing a chicken. If you were competing in true combat power, Xia Yanchang could kill two of you on his own. All you are is a pig who looks big. To save your life by kneeling, it's an excellent trade. At this time, you shouldn't be angry, you should be happy. Long Chen patted Han Zijin like he was teaching a disobedient child. That tone of his was both shocking and funny. Long Chen was so strong that just a word from him could make a person kneel. That was no coincidence. His power was so great that Han Zijin didn't dare to resist. Long Chen stopped patting Han Zijin's face and instead poked his head. You're just a pitiful insect being used by others. But use this big head of yours to remember my words clearly. If you want to live longer, don't throw away all morality. With the slightest carelessness, you'll throw your life away as well. This time, you were lucky. But no one can rely on luck to survive a lifetime. Will you remember this? I'll remember. Han Zijin's face was numb from being patted. And the poke made stars spin in his head. He was completely subdued by Long Chen now. His mouth was swollen and his teeth were gone. His words were mumbled almost incoherently. With his life in Long Chen's hands, he would believe anything Long Chen said. More importantly, Long Chen's words were right on the mark. Originally, he was an extremely low-level prince of the Grand Han. Although he was talented, he hadn't reached the level of the old Grand Han's three monarchs. Someone had used a secret art to stimulate his spirit blood and artificially increase his realm. However, this was not the result of his own training, and as a result, his actual combat power was not very strong. That was why he refused to fight Xia Yanchang and put on an act of looking down on him. In truth, he was afraid. His act had been exposed, and his life was in Long Chen's hands. His mental realm had already collapsed, from a wolf bearing his fangs. He had transformed into an obedient rabbit, seeing Long Chen looking like an elder lecturing a child, turning the arrogant Han Zijin into his current state. People sighed inside. Evil people were best handled by evil people. You can scram, said Long Chen. Han Zijin fled like a prisoner released from a death sentence. He hastily bowed to Long Chen before hiding behind the elders of the divine family's outer branches. Long Chen, the lead elder glared at Long Chen. Is the name Long Chen something you can say? Do you not want your life? You have to call me Great General Long Chen or perhaps Master Long. If it weren't in deference to your old age, I'd have already slapped you, said Long Chen disdainfully. You, the elder raged. He was from the outer branches of the divine families. Although he wasn't a true member of the divine families, other cultivators would have to be respectful toward him no matter where he went. With his status, how could he call someone master? What? Don't try to tell me that you didn't know the real reason why you came here. I'll say this, if anyone dares to get any ideas over the Grand Shia, they can't blame me for becoming their enemy. Let me tell you, when I get angry, even I'm afraid of myself. So it would be best if you didn't provoke me and stayed away from the Grand Han. No one can touch the Grand Shia, or I'll make sure they have a miserable life, declared Long Chen. This matter was clear. The outer branches of the divine families had supported Han Zijin. Of all the people who had come, most likely Han Zijin was the only member of the Grand Han. The rest were just disguised members of the outer branches of the divine families. From the way they were enraged at how Xia Yaoluo had killed one of them, the truth was clear. If it was just some random disciple of the Grand Han, they wouldn't have tried to kill her. They were trying to use Han Zijin as a puppet to secretly subdue the other three nations. As for why, Long Chen didn't know and he didn't care. This was his warning not to provoke him. The Grand Shia had a relationship with him, and if anyone dared to touch the Grand Shia, he would make them pay a bloody price, even if they were the divine families. Long Chen, you're too arrogant roared the elder, his whole body quivering in rage. Just this as arrogant Long Chen suddenly took out a black saber. A flash of light appeared. The elder that had previously attacked Xia Yaoluo was cut in half by Long Chen's saber. His Yuan spirit killed. Then what does this count as? Long Chen lazily rested Evil Moon on his shoulder, looking at the elder with a faint smile. Chapter 2215 Intimidation Long Chen had killed a nether passage expert with one stroke of his saber. That wasn't what stunned people. 
it was that this expert had been a member of the Divine Family's outer branches. Although it was just the outer branches, they still belonged to the Divine Families. For Long Chen to dare to kill someone from the Divine Families, he had probably provoked a huge calamity. Long Chen, you dare. The other elders roared, weapons appearing in their hands. TCH, only you can kill others but others can't kill you? Do you really think that you're gods? You found the crappiest excuse you could to cause trouble, and after someone killed your disciple, you got so embarrassed you wanted to kill the killer. If you want to kill others, you have to be prepared to be killed as well, sneered Long Chen. That elder he had killed had previously attacked Xia Yaoluo, and if he hadn't interfered, tossing out one of the bells in Long Xiaoyu's bag, Xia Yaoluo would have been killed. He hated people like that the most. They thought that they were so supreme that their lives were important, but other people's lives were meaningless. Originally, he wouldn't have killed that person in this situation. After all, that person hadn't succeeded in harming Xia Yaoluo, but Long Chen was unable to placate the flames of rage in his heart. His will refused to allow that person to live. Furthermore, after his years of experience with such people, he knew that whether or not he killed that person, his enmity with the divine families had been established. They wouldn't feel any gratitude if he let them off. He had ruined their plan. So this enmity had been formed. There was nothing he could do to prevent it. Instead, they would want to press him even further. This was the simplest and frankest principle of the cultivation world. Long Chen, how brazen. You actually disregard the divine families? That's a provocation to the divine families. Your arrogance has thrown the entire Grand Shia into danger. You think you're standing up for them, when in reality, you've implicated them. You one of the elders was furiously shouting at him when a dagger silently passed through his throat. A small hand lifted his head from his neck. Only once his head was separated from his body did people see a girl holding a dagger in one hand and the head in the other hand. That was Dong Mingyu. As for Long Xiaoyu, she was unconscious and being held by Xia Yaoluo. Long Chen didn't want her to see blood. With just a simple cut from her dagger, Dong Mingyu had beheaded a third step nether passage expert. She held his head like it was a toy. It was so fast that no one could react. The experts of the divine family's outer branches were shocked. Dong Mingyu was standing there indifferently as if she had just done something completely insignificant. No one could imagine that this seemingly sweet, innocent girl was a terrifying expert. What did you say just now? I didn't hear it clearly. Something about brazen, arrogance, implicating? Sorry, you were talking too fast. I'll trouble you to repeat it. Long Chen looked at the elder's head. Although Long Chen was smiling, there wasn't the slightest warmth in his eyes. There was only killing intent. This bastard was actually threatening him with the Grand Shia? Long Chen's killing intent was officially provoked. As long as that person dared to repeat it, he would slaughter all these people from the Divine Families. At the same time, he had a premonition that the Divine Families were just like what the High Priest had described them as. They would probably have many disagreements with him. The Divine Families had yet to truly descend, but just these outer branches were acting so arrogant and unbridled. Just how arrogant would the true Divine Families be? To defend the martial heaven continent with such people? That was like climbing a tree to catch a fish. Long Chen's slight hope of being able to work together with the divine families vanished. The elder with his head in Dong Mingyu's hand was terrified. He could feel Long Chen's killing intent, and he knew it wasn't just directed at him. Long Chen wanted to kill all of them. The protective talisman, which was their status as members of the divine families was useless in front of Long Chen. The elder was shocked, infuriated, and terrified. He didn't want to die. Long Chen, what do you want? shouted the elder. It's not what I want. It's what your outer branches want. Just why did you barge into the Grand Shia so aggressively? I felt that your throat was too big, causing your voice to be unclear. Now, I've lightened your burden, so it might be easier for us to communicate, said Long Chen. Long Chen had lightened his burden by a lot. Without his body to inconvenience him, he was much lighter. It was the Grand Han's people who found us and hoped that we would find justice for them. We just came to bear witness, shouted the elder. 
He had finally encountered the first truly vicious character in his lifetime. He had no choice but to lower his head and no longer dared to threaten Long Chen. He wanted to live. Find justice? Bear witness? Are you trying to make up a ghost story? If you were finding justice, why would you disguise your disciples as members of the Grand Han? Sneered Long Chen. I started roaming this turbulent world at 16, and I've seen every kind of person there is. Don't try to play any useless games with me. I don't care what your goal is. Just remember that I am the Grand Xia's general. I don't have a good temper, and I don't like being threatened. Everyone who has threatened me before has been sent to another world. Do I need to send you there for free as well? Long Chen, don't go too far. The divine families will quickly descend onto the continent. When that time comes, the martial heaven continent will be led by the divine families. Give us some face, and we can get along peacefully. It won't be good if we become hostile, don't you think? That elder began to speak spiritually to him, essentially admitting defeat. If you had come with that attitude, don't you think things would have gone much better? Well, fine, I can leave things here for now. I know you were only acting on orders, so I won't make things hard on you. Go back and tell your people that the Grand Shia is another one of my homes. I don't want anyone to disturb them. Long Chen also replied spiritually. Although the outer branches were not the main descendants, even when killing a dog, you had to look at who the owner was. Killing them wouldn't be good for his relationship with the divine families. Surrounding himself with enemies before he knew their power wasn't wise. Of course, that was if he wasn't forced to that point. He didn't want to kill them if he didn't have to. Since the other side had admitted defeat, Long Chen had no need to continue being ruthless. He nodded toward Dong Mingyu, and Dong Mingyu released his head. Heavenly Dao energy surged around the head. It returned to the elder's neck and the wound healed seamlessly. If there wasn't a ring of blood around his neck, it would have been impossible to tell his head had been separated. The elder still had a dark expression, but he sighed with relief inside. His life had been spared. He had personally experienced Long Chen's way of doing things. He was just as unconstrained and unintimidable as the elder had heard. The elder wanted to say something, but when he thought about it, there were no words he could use to win back his dignity. It would just make him appear worse. The elder looked at Long Chen for a moment before leaving with his people. As for Han Zijin, he actually cupped his fists toward Long Chen, seemingly to thank him for the favor of not killing him. Originally, Han Zijin had thought that kneeling to Long Chen would result in punishment later, but then even that elder had had his head cut off. So Han Zijin was at ease. No one would have a reason to punish him. He blessed his luck that he had been wise enough not to act even slightly tougher than he had. Otherwise, he would have gotten a free trip to another world. The humiliation he had felt vanished after seeing that elder be punished. If even the divine family's experts had lowered their heads, then it was only natural that he had to lower his head as well. As for the final cupping of his fists, that was to express his attitude. In the future, the Grand Han would not be enemies with the Grand Shia. After all, he had been forced this time. It had nothing to do with him. In other words, the divine families would not be supporting him in the future, and the Grand Shia would have no reason to target him. After all, he hadn't done this willingly. He had tossed all the responsibility onto the divine families. So while this cupping of his fists looked to be a sign of gratitude toward Long Chen, it had an even deeper meaning. He knew that the Grand Shia would not be letting off the Grand Han easily after they had raised their blades against them. To settle things with just this action showed that he wasn't as stupid as he appeared. The experts of the Divine Family's outer branches left. However, the flying boat of the Grand Han's refugees belonged to the Grand Han, and without Han Zijin's orders, they didn't dare to move. Seeing Han Zijin leave, they didn't know what to do. As for the refugees who had been clamoring on top of it, they were dumbfounded. Had they been abandoned? Were they supposed to use their lives to placate the Grand Zaya's rage? They turned pale, and terror appeared in their eyes. The Grand Shia had given them food and water, and yet they had come to take a bite out of them. Looking below at the Grand Zaya's people that were filled with hatred for them, they shivered. Kill them all. Kill these greedy wolves. In just a moment. The Grand Zaya's officials began clamoring for their deaths. 
The army surrounded the flying boat. Xia Yuang opened his mouth. They were just used. They didn't have the power to resist. Yes, that's right. We were forced. Please have mercy and spare us, shouted the refugees. Tears appearing in their eyes. Xia Yuang coldly shouted. No need for theatrics. We won't kill you today. But starting today, the Grand Xia no longer welcomes refugees from the Grand Han. Within seven days, all refugees of the Grand Han will be expelled. After seven days, if any of them dare to stay within the Grand Xia, they will be killed without mercy. Chapter 2216 Close Female Confidant This time, the Grand Xia's populace was truly enraged. It didn't matter if those people had been forced or not. They still could not accept such a thing. Xia Yuang directly gave the order to expel the Grand Han's refugees from the borders of the Grand Xia. The Grand Zhou and Grand Chu followed suit. In truth, the Grand Han's refugees had been a constant headache for the three nations. The three nations accepted them because they pitied them and didn't want to see them destitute and homeless. Without their help, they would starve to death, freeze to death or be killed by the war ravaging their home. However, many of those refugees had been dissatisfied with their living arrangements. They would occasionally demand some outrageous things. For example extra farming tools or seeds with no conditions attached. They also wanted skills to be taught to them. And some even demanded more resources to improve their quality of life to the point that it would reach the middle class of the Grand Shia. Such unreasonable requests were naturally ignored. As a result, even before this, they had put on demonstrations, with them saying that it was the Grand Xia's fault that they were destitute. So the Grand Xia had to bear the responsibility. The imperial family had been so infuriated that they had directly killed those people as a warning. But it was inevitable more people would take up their cause not long after. That was why Xia Yanchang said they were a group of immature, hungry wolves. They didn't know gratitude. The Grand Shia had given them a peaceful environment where their lives weren't in danger, and yet they constantly lusted for more. Using Shia Yanchang's words, they had given them a fire, but they demanded a donkey. Now, in front of everyone, they had falsely testified that the Grand Shia had enslaved them. Hence, the Grand Xia's people no longer had any pity for them. People instantly carried out Shia Yuang's orders. Shia Yuang walked over to Long Chen and nodded. General Long Chen, you're as mighty as ever. You've managed to protect the imperial dignity of the Grand Xia. As for your reward, I will definitely ponder what I can offer you. Many thanks for your majesty's graciousness. Long Chen acted immensely grateful, eliciting laughter from Xia Yuang and the others. Back in the day, when Long Chen had left the Grand Xia, he had been chased down by others. Now, he was a figure who stood at the peak of the world but his character was the same as before. All right, let's continue to enjoy the festivities. Long Chen, when you have time, come and drink a few cups with me. Of course, I'll be asking you to bring the wine. Xia Yuang smiled. Xia Yuang naturally had fine wine, also from the wine god palace, but he knew that his wine wasn't at the same level as Long Chen's. Yes, you prepare the food, and I'll bring the wine. Long Chen also smiled. Xia Yuang was the only ruler that Long Chen respected. He was devoted to his nation and his people, which Long Chen found admirable. He truly did view the Grand Xia as a home and its commoners as his family. Xia Yuang then brought the army away. He knew that the atmosphere would naturally be tense if he stayed. So he gave the youngsters this area to play. Long Chen, you came at the right time. Xia Yanchang went over and gave Long Chen a fierce embrace. If Long Chen hadn't come, he didn't know what state the Grand Xia would have been turned into. Actually, I was watching for a while. It was only when that idiot saw that he couldn't beat you so he threatened the lives of the Grand Xia's populace that I had no choice but to intervene. Otherwise, I would have let you teach him a lesson. Don't blame me for stealing your spotlight Long Chen smiled. Long Chen's voice wasn't loud at all, but he had sent his spiritual strength rolling through it allowing the entire capital to hear him clearly. Only then did everyone learn that it wasn't that Xia Yanchang wasn't able to beat Han Zijin, but that he had been forced to hold back for their safety. Even when Han Zijin had wanted to force Xia Yanchang to kneel, Xia Yanchang had endured for them. 
It was well known that Xia Yanchang cultivated the undefeatable Dao. Any humiliation could influence his Dao heart. But Xia Yanchang had been willing to bear that humiliation for them. Their impression of Xia Yanchang rose once more. Although Xia Yanchang wasn't the crown prince, he was considered the shield of the Grand Xia, the protector of the nation. He had previously sworn to the imperial shrine to live to protect the Grand Xia. That was why Xia Yanchang's fame was perhaps even greater than the fame of the future emperor. Long Chen knew this, which was why he had said this so that everyone knew that the Grand Xia's imperial family was always looking out for its people, even if they couldn't see it. He also said it to protect the image of Xia Yanchang in people's hearts. After all, every nation needed idols. This allowed them to be more cohesive. Many thanks. Xia Yanchang naturally understood Long Chen's intentions and was grateful. This brother of his that he hadn't seen in so many years hadn't changed just because of time or his greater status. Come, let me introduce you. This is my close female confidant, Dong Mingyu. Long Chen pulled Dong Mingyu over by her hand. Dong Mingyu immediately blushed. Even her eyes looked a bit red. To call her a close female confidant, any sense of inferiority within her heart vanished. Because she could no longer grow, this body of hers had become a heavy matter on her heart. She had decided to spend her life living for Long Chen, and she was afraid of being viewed by him as a child the entire time. That feeling might even be worse than dying to her. By switching from calling her little you to you -er, she was already grateful. Now that he said this, he had basically confirmed her status, and she almost cried. In front of others, she was the assassin that caused the entire martial heaven continent to tremble. But in front of Long Chen, she lost all her defenses and became vulnerable. In this world, the only one who could hurt her was Long Chen. Seeing Long Chen's sunshine-like smile in addition to the warmth and encouragement in his eyes, she felt an unprecedented happiness. Xia Yaoluo smiled and introduced herself in a friendly manner, but there was a touch of envy in her eyes. Hey I I, Ziaoyu, wake up, why are you sleeping here? Long Chen gently pinched Long Ziaoyu's nose as he called her awake. Long Ziaoyu sleepily opened her eyes and suddenly cried out, why am I sleeping here? Big brother Long Chen, did you beat those bad people? Did I miss it? She looked vexed. All she remembered was suddenly feeling overwhelmed by drowsiness to the point that she couldn't keep her eyes open. Now that she woke, that group of people was no longer in view. What bad people? You played around too much to the point that you fell asleep. Are you dreaming? Asked Long Chen. Long Xiaoyu didn't want to accept that. She looked around and around but she didn't see any sign of those bad people. It really was like it was just a dream. Long Chen held back a smile. All right, I woke you up because your favorite part is starting. I didn't want you to miss it and cry. At this moment, the show on the stage started up again. The interruption ended up not breaking their mood due to Long Chen's way of settling things. Instead, this lantern festival became even livelier Novaloon.com The building projected everything that happened on the heavenly cloud platform, allowing the people in the capital to see what was happening. Some of the young women began to let out loud cheers for the youngest, most mysterious great general of the Grand Shia, startling others into jumping. Heavens, I actually gave my heart jewel to General Long Chen. I, I really have excellent vision. Do you think General Long Chen will fall for me? I can just be like the princess who married the general. Heavens, I can't believe it. I have to prepare a Darius that maiden babbled incoherently. None of her friends laughed at her. Although they all knew that Long Chen wouldn't marry an ordinary woman of the secular world. Just that vague hope was better than nothing. Most importantly, this would be enough for them to show off for a lifetime. The girls that had given Long Chen their heart flowers were all bursting with joy. This proved just how sharp their eyesight was. As for that group of outer students from the scholar's mansion, they were pale. They had actually demanded the strongest expert of the Grand Shia to get out of their way. They had even mocked him openly. Long Chen was someone who didn't even care about the divine families. But he had still given them the right of way on the road. That had to be him taking pity on their youth and ignorance. They began to sweat. That's a real expert. He doesn't bully the weak. But we, Long Chen attended the festivities with everyone. 
Long Xiaoya was delighted with the various programs. Her eyes were locked on the stage. The Lantern Festival was the largest festival for the people in the Grand Xia, so the performances were all fun to watch. Long Chen reminded his little sister several times that it was getting late and that their mother wouldn't like it if they went home too late. However, she refused to leave. It was only when the performances came to an end that she finally, reluctantly left. Xia Yanchong suggested going to the Imperial Palace to drink, but Long Chen tactfully declined, saying that they could reschedule for another day. He brought Long Xiaoyu back to the Wine God Palace and sent her to bed. Upon returning home, he saw that his parents hadn't gone to bed yet. Seeing the heart jewels on Long Chen's scarf, Mrs. Long smiled brightly, making Long Chen roll his eyes. After sending his little sister to bed, Long Chen quietly left with Dong Mingyu. Big brother Long Chen, what are we doing? Asked Dong Mingyu curiously. With how stealthy he was acting, it was like he was being a thief. He, after sending back the little girl, we can really have some fun. Let's go strolling on our own. At the later stages, this lantern festival gets much more colorful. The city doesn't sleep until the sun rises. Big brother Long Chen is the best. Dong Mingyu was delighted and wrapped her arms around Long Chen's neck, giving him a kiss on the face excitedly. Chapter 2217 I can't die this time. Long Chen didn't keep that scarf on. Holding Dong Mingyu's hand. They went out to have fun. This day was a festival for the Grand Xia's young men and women. Around the midnight hour was when the festivities peaked. When the older crowd and the children returned home. At this moment, the streets were filled with youngsters. Even the people overseeing the festivities were youngsters. And that was what made it even livelier. Who knows. Perhaps they might encounter their destined partner here. Earlier today. Dong Mingyu had accompanied Long Xiaoyu in wild snacking and playing. Long Xiaoyu had her own mentality for treating guests. The things that she liked were a bit childish to Dong Mingyu. But Dong Mingyu hadn't had a childhood, so this could make up for some of those lost years. At least, it wasn't boring. After bringing back Long Xiaoyu, Long Chen brought Dong Mingyu out to do what the other youngsters were doing. Some favored areas were Connected Hearts Bridge and Destined Marriage Mountain. The two of them acted like ordinary mortals who didn't know how to cultivate. They followed the crowd, hearing all kinds of delightful stories from random people. Big Brother Long Chen, I suddenly really want to be an ordinary person. Dong Mingyu sighed. Are we not normal? Long Chen smiled. I'm saying that I don't want to be a cultivator. It seems that they're living a much easier and more relaxed life said Dong Mingyu. She was very envious of these people. Their lives were simple. The cultivation world was much crueler. Long Chen said, Who told you that they live easy and relaxed lives? Every person in this world has hardships in their life. You envy them for being worry-free, while they envy others for being rich. While rich people envy cultivators for having the ability to fly through the skies and live longer lives. You envy others because they have things that you don't have but no one has everything in this world. A cat likes fish but can't swim. A fish likes eating earthworms but can't go on land. This is just life. Even a god does not have a perfect life. Regretfully, many people don't understand this. And even upon dying, they don't know what kind of life they wanted. When facing troubles, unhappiness is a kind of instinct. But to stiffen your spine and live through those struggles happily is a kind of skill. Just look at me. I'm chased down by almost everyone on the continent, but aren't I still living happily? Dong Mingyu smiled. She felt like today was the most fortunate day in her life. It didn't matter how many troubles she encountered. As long as she was with Long Chen, as long as she could hear his voice, see his smile, she didn't have any fear. Adopt Dragon Ring Peak. Dong Mingyu lay in Long Chen's embrace, looking at the lanterns down below. The entire capital was illuminated in a soft light. Hearing his jest in her ear, she occasionally laughed. Eventually, she fell asleep. Looking at her face, Long Chen felt pity. From Dong Mingyu, he had seen another kind of life. The truth was that there weren't that many truly evil people in this world. The majority of people were kind. Dong Mingyu was someone who had been raised as a killing tool. But just one bit of kindness from him had changed her life. 
That wasn't because his charisma was so great, but simply that this little bit of kindness had awakened Dong Mingyu's true nature inside. However, many people had already lost sight of their true nature. They lived with no beliefs. Blind. Someone who had no limits on themselves was truly frightening. Even more frightening were the people who had been brainwashed to the point that their own beliefs were gone. Any good in their heart had been sealed by that long-term brainwashing, and they had become weapons with no thoughts of their own. Long Chen held Dong Mingyu, trying to keep her comfortable. Seeing her sweet smile, Long Chen had an urge to kiss her, but he held back for fear of waking her. Sleep might be a normal thing to others, but to an assassin, sleeping was a dream that they would never dare to hope for. Assassins had to be on their highest guard at all times. Even the slightest relaxation could cause them to lose their lives. This was why Dong Mingyu envied ordinary people so much. In Long Chen's embrace, she was finally sleeping soundly like a baby. In this world, there was nowhere safer than Long Chen's embrace. Long Chen looked into the distance. Just now, playing with Dong Mingyu and hearing her laughter had made him forget all his vexations. However, now that he paused, his thoughts came surging back. He rubbed the nine-line soul calming jade. That was the only thing his birth parents had given him. He felt that he was getting closer to the truth. But his heart was growing more nervous. In the past, he had seen a corner of the truth through Future Lake. Later on, Long Chen had asked Li Xiangxuan if he could use the reincarnation mirror to see more. But Li Xiangxuan had said that it was impossible. Back when he had looked into Future Lake, his cultivation base had been lower making it easier to look back. But even that had almost destroyed the reincarnation mirror. Now that his cultivation base was higher, the reincarnation mirror didn't have the ability to look back into his past. Hence, Long Chen had no way of learning his origins this way. He didn't even know if his birth parents were still alive. He recalled that man's bright laughter. He recalled that woman's rebuking which was full of love and concern. He recalled a pair of merciless hands that cut open a baby's body and took away his seven-colored blood, spirit root, and spirit bone. If that person was my father, then he was very proud and domineering. He would definitely go crazy if his son was taken. If my child was targeted like this, I'd definitely tear apart my enemy no matter who it was. But even after so many years, I haven't heard of anything so shocking occurring on the Martial Heaven continent. It seems that my birth parents aren't in a good situation. Long Chen's heart was heavy. As parents, they definitely wouldn't just allow their son to wander around outside for over 20 years without making a sound. Just wait. I'll slowly find the truth. I'll make sure corpses pile up until I can climb up to the heavens and paint the sky the color of blood. A hint of killing intent appeared in his eyes. He was full of hatred. He put himself in his parents' shoes. Long Xiangxiao and Mrs. Long knew that Long Chen was on the Martial Heaven continent, and yet they definitely worried about him every day. As for his birth parents, their child had been stolen from them. That kind of pain was unimaginable. There was no way such a thing could be forgiven. Suddenly, Dong Mingyu shifted in his arms. She opened her eyes. Big Brother Long Chen, do you want to kill someone? As an assassin. Dong Mingyu was very sensitive to killing intent. She had been roused awake. Sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. Apologized Long Chen. A peaceful sleep was far too rare for Dong Mingyu. It's fine. I've slept for a long time. It seems like this is the first true sleep in my memory. Big brother Long Chen. Just tell me who you want to kill and I'll do it. Dong Mingyu wrapped her arms around Long Chen's neck. She was serious. She was fully confident in her assassination abilities. It didn't matter how strong the target was. As long as she found a chance, she could still kill them in one move. Even divine sons or divine daughters like the Pill Fairy and Tian Zizi were no exception. Actually, I don't even know who my enemy is. I don't even know who my birth parents are. Long Chen explained his origin to Dong Mingyu simply. Only then did she learn that Long Xiangxiao and Mrs. Long were not his birth parents. Furthermore, Long Chen had even had his spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone extracted as a baby. She had originally felt that she had been met with enough misfortune, but now she found that Long Chen was even more unfortunate. However, he was still living while loving this world. 
the sun is about to come up. Long Chen suddenly pointed into the distance. Dawn was breaking. A dark red sun was starting to creep over the horizon and spill its light onto the earth. It warmed the world, nourishing life. Long Chen didn't remember the last sunrise he had seen. Seeing the sun rise over these flourishing lands, he smiled. Every day was a new beginning. After the dark came the light. It might be difficult for him to progress right now, but he was confident that as long as he endured, he would be able to walk out of the darkness. The sun would rise. Let's go. We can see some old friends in the Imperial Palace. Long Chen descended the mountain with Dong Mingyu, going to the Imperial Palace. They spent a day in the Imperial Palace before returning to the Wine God Palace. There, they rested for a day before the two of them went to a secret room that the High Priest had prepared for them. Long Chen was preparing to remove the God Seed from Dong Mingyu. The room only held Long Chen and Dong Mingyu. Dong Mingyu was nervous, and her voice quivered. Big brother Long Chen, you have to save me. I wasn't afraid of dying before, but now I am. I want to be with you forever. I can't die. An assassin's first lesson was to be fearless in the face of death. Only then could they maintain absolute calm and make the best choices no matter what happened. However, the current Dong Mingyu was not fearless. It wasn't dying that she was afraid of so much but no longer being able to be with Long Chen. Long Chen hugged Dong Mingyu tightly and kissed her forehead. Trust me. Long Chen and Dong Mingyu sat in lotus style. Dong Mingyu closed her eyes, and Long Chen pressed a finger against her forehead. Light erupted from the spot that he pressed. A terrifying divine pressure caused the room to shake. Chapter 2218 The God Servant Dong Mingyu's body trembled. The divine mark on her forehead was shining brightly, and a thunderous voice exploded in her mind. Those disobedient to the god will suffer the pain of ten thousand ants devouring their souls and never reincarnate. Dong Mingyu knew that this was the god's will. She had betrayed a god. Her soul was in immense pain, as if countless knives were cutting her, as if countless bugs were biting into it. However, she didn't make a sound in order to not worry Long Chen. Speak to him. Endure it. Long Chen wrote in Dong Mingyu's palm with his other hand. He couldn't speak spiritually or it would draw the attention of the other side. Dong Mingyu suddenly sneered. I was never your follower. So why would I be obedient? When I was a child, I was your follower because my parents forced me in, shackling me to you. Did you give me the privilege of my own choice? I was born to be your slave. So you can order me around? All there was between us was a brief collaboration. I killed people for you, and you gave me power. Now, I don't want the collaboration any longer. I will live according to my own will. As Dong Mingyu spoke, Long Chen's spiritual strength silently entered Dong Mingyu's body, flowing toward her danshan. Within her danshan was a clump of qi. That was her spirit root, the foundation of her cultivation. Unless it was someone you absolutely trusted, there was no way you would allow someone else's energy to go there. That clump of qi had a golden seed within it. That seed had tiny roots that grew throughout all her bones. This is the god seed. Frankly, it's an evil seed used for enslaving bodies of flesh. A god? More like a slightly stronger fiend wearing a bright cover to con idiots. Upon seeing that seed, Long Chen understood what it meant to be a divine daughter or divine son. They were nothing more than pieces that the gods controlled. Due to Dong Mingyu's strong will, she was able to resist the encroachment of the god's will retaining her own mind. This aspect of her was something that even amazed the high priest. Long Chen thought of the pill fairy. She should be in the same state as Dong Mingyu. However, it seemed that she hadn't managed to retain the slightest bit of her own will. It was unknown if the pill fairy had been completely taken over by the god's will. Perhaps it was because she had been an extremely devout follower originally and had been willing to give her everything to the god. In any case, she was no longer the same. Everything you have was given to you by the god. Your betrayal is a disgrace. As the god servant, I give you the pain of your soul being devoured. Seven weeks from now, your life will end, said that voice coldly. Dong Mingyu was going to keep speaking to stall when Long Chen's voice rang out in her mind. See, a dog also dares to say such big words? Aren't you afraid of being turned into a stew? Who's there? The voice was first startled and then burst into anger. Your dad, 
Long Chen answered concisely and confidently. Bastard, the god seed within Dong Mingyu's body suddenly exploded, and countless tentacles stretched out. Dong Mingyu's eyes flew open, her gaze cold. Big brother Long Chen, I can't control my body. Dong Mingyu was appalled. Do you see your daddy clearly now? Long Chen smiled. Suddenly, starry projections appeared within Dong Mingyu's body. It was a giant astral diagram of 108,000 stars emitting divine light that severed the tentacle shooting out of the god seed. The high priest had told Long Chen that by using his spiritual yuan combined with his astral energy, by severing the three great tentacles within the root chi, it was possible to cut off the god seed. The three great tentacles were what controlled the chi, the essence, and the spirit. Once they were severed, the god seed would be unable to control Dong Mingyu. As for the other tentacles, they could be slowly extracted. However, that process would definitely be immensely painful. It was like extracting a giant tree that had taken root in the body. It would be like losing half her life. But it was the only way to save her. The wine left by the wine god had paralyzed the god energy and reduced its power, making it so that during this time, the god was unable to keep an eye on Dong Mingyu. When the wine energy reached its peak, it was the best moment to take action. However, the high priest didn't know that Long Chen had more than one astral space. Long Chen directly severed all the tentacles. One of Long Chen's hands was on Dong Mingyu's forehead. His spiritual strength poured into her body, protecting her soul. His other hand pressed against her abdomen. With a forceful tug, he pulled out the god seed, tossing it into his own danshan. The instant the god seed left Dong Mingyu's body, she turned pale as paper and coughed up a mouthful of blood. Courting death, the god seed began to swell. It was going to explode within Long Chen's body. Boom. Long Chen's robes exploded off of him, and cracks appeared on his body. Blood flowed out of him, but he had a cold smile. The instant the god seed's energy had exploded, his 108,000 stars had distributed the energy. He had been intentionally testing the god seed's power, which was why he hadn't summoned his battle armor. If he had really wanted to stop it, he would have only needed to circulate his 108,000 stars energy until the god seed's energy was exhausted. Let me see just what you look like. Long Chen actually sent his Yuan spirit into the god seed. According to the method that the high priest had given him, all he needed to do was stabilize the god seed in his body. Because he wasn't an Empyrean, the seed would not be able to nourish itself with heavenly Tao energy. As time passed, it would slowly wither and vanish. However, Long Chen wanted to peer into the secrets of the god, so he sent his Yuan spirit into it to communicate with the speaker. His soul shuddered, and he saw a person in front of him. It was a white-haired old man with falcon-like eyes full of darkness and brutality. He was not the killing god worshipped by the Blood Kill Hall Noveloon.com as Long Chen saw him. He also saw Long Chen. Long Chen could see his astonishment. He didn't seem to have expected Long Chen to throw himself into a trap. Sorry, let me retract what I just said. I'm not your dad. There's no way I could give birth to such an ugly thing. Long Chen shook his head. God blasphemer. You will pay the price for your arrogance and ignorance. The falcon-eyed elder furiously slammed his hands together. His white hair blew back as a divine pressure grew within the god seed. Roots furiously shot out of the god seed spreading just like they had in Dong Mingyu's body, wanting to control Long Chen. I've blasphemed many gods. Who do you think you are to cause trouble in front of me? Call out Imputa, sneered Long Chen. Long Chen knew that the killing god's name was Imputa. This fellow was nothing more than one of Imputa's subordinates. You dare to shout the name of the killing god. Die. The elder formed hand seals, and divine light lit up beneath him. Only now did Long Chen see that there was a sacrificial altar beneath him. Divine runes were activating, and their power was actually entering the god seed inside his body despite being in completely different spaces. The god seed grew crazily, filling with an energy that could destroy a world. But Long Chen didn't stop it. Instead, he allowed those tentacles to invade every inch of his body, every inch of his will. An irresistible will condensed within his mind wanting to control him. However, Long Chen didn't make a sound. He allowed those tentacles to control him. 
He wanted to use this method to peer into the secrets of gods. The elder's appearance was very frightening as divine runes flew around his body. Even though he was filled with divine power, he was a bit nervous seeing Long Chen looking at him expressionlessly. You think you can control me with just this little bit of power? Just how did Imputa find such a useless dog? The powerful divine energy crashed against Long Chen's mind C, trying to control him, but his own will was too powerful. Just who are you? demanded the elder. Imputa's daddy. The elder almost coughed up a mouthful of blood. Suddenly, his forehead split open, and blood chains shot out, covering his body like a spider web. Great killing god, please bestow me your divine power. With your supreme will, guide the sheep who have lost their way. As he prayed, more and more altars appeared, lighting up. Long Chen saw that there were hundreds of these altars within this space. Every altar unleashed a chain connecting to the elder's altar. Divine energy dozens of times stronger than before poured into the god seed. As that energy raged, Long Chen's will was submerged by the god's will. Long Chen still didn't resist. He allowed the god energy to invade him. Finally, various illusions began to appear in his mind as the god energy reached the point where it started affecting Long Chen's will. From your grimace, it looks like you're constipated. Is this all the power you have? Mocked Long Chen. Even though strange scenes were appearing within his mind, he still acted like he was clear-headed. The elder furiously roared. A giant illusory figure appeared behind him, and divine pressure raged. Long Chen's head buzzed as his will was finally suppressed. In that instant, a faint smile appeared on his face. Chapter 2219 The Pill Sovereign's Will Long Chen didn't resist. This was the result that he wanted. The instant his will was suppressed by the god's will. A power that had been slumbering within his soul for a long time was provoked. A supreme will exploded. It was like a dragon had been provoked by an ant and finally opened its eyes. Some kind of force instantly erased the god's will from Long Chen's mind. The elder controlling hundreds of altars wanted to say something, but his body suddenly exploded. Then the altars crumbled into dust, and the illusory images in Long Chen's mind faded. After the elder died, Another figure appeared. It was a young man with shoulder-length hair. Divine light flowed within his mind, seeming to mimic the revolution of the cosmos. If Dong Mingyu saw him, she would instantly recognize him to be the god worshipped by the blood kill hall, the killing god Imputa. Imputa looked at the destroyed altars and frowned. He then formed a one-handed seal and space twisted, revealing a scene full of dust. That was the scene of the altars being destroyed. Time continued to reverse, playing back what had happened. However, just as he saw the elder, his expression suddenly changed. He hastily dispelled his divine energy. The hand-forming seals exploded, and Imputa's expression was dark. After muttering to himself, he turned and left, vanishing within the endless darkness. The illusions in Long Chen's mind had vanished, and the god's will had been disintegrated. However, all the god energy that had been poured into the god seed was still within Long Chen's body. So the pill sovereign's will has always been present. Long Chen had proven its existence once more. This meant that his character had definitely been influenced by the pill sovereign's will. A very large portion of his domineering nature had to be caused by the pill sovereign's will. The reason he hadn't resisted the god's will and allowed it to invade him was because he wanted to test the pill sovereign's will. Originally. He had thought that even if it existed, it would have to have a fierce battle with the god's will. But he hadn't expected that even god energy would be nothing in front of the pill sovereign's will. How was it that the pill sovereign was even more terrifying than the god? The instant the two had clashed, Long Chen could tell that the two of them were in completely different dimensions. Just who was the pill sovereign? Why did it find him? Why would it choose him to inherit the nine-star hegemon body art? Long Chen was full of questions. The power of the pill sovereigns will made him think of many things that had been unimaginable before. If the god energy was stronger, he had planned to refine it for his own use. But now there was no point. If the pill sovereigns will could crush it so easily, there was no need for him to waste his time researching such a thing. His 108,000 astral stars activated. They had previously silently absorbed the god energy and were now spitting that energy back out. This god energy had his will within it. This was the backup that Long Chen had prepared. 
he had split half his will throughout the 108,000 stars. If the Pill Sovereign's will was unable to beat the God's will, he would launch an attack. Now though, these preparations were revealed to be meaningless. He then forced the God energy back into the God Seed, and it was now filled with pure God energy without the God's will within it. Long Chen slowly opened his eyes. Dong Mingaya was still pale and was staring at him worriedly. No one understood just how terrifying the God's will was better than her. Big brother Long Chen, you succeeded. We can stay together forever. Dong Mingaya was delighted and cried tears of joy, hugging him. If he had died, there would have been no meaning in her living. Once Dong Mingaya had calmed down, Long Chen patted her back. Here, let me return the God Seed to you. The God Seed? Big brother Long Chen, you. Dong Mingaya jumped back, staring in shock at him thinking he had been taken over by the god's will. Long Chen smiled. It's not like what you're thinking. The god seed is still present. I just erased the god's will. It's now just a seed that cannot influence how you think. Long Chen placed his hand on Dong Mingyu's danshan. With a thought, the god seed left his body and entered Dong Mingyu's. The god seed became active upon entering Dong Mingyu's body as if it had returned home. It surprisingly had a strong sense of belonging there. How is it so powerful now? When the God Seed entered her body, she felt a power a hundred times greater than before. To test the Pill Sovereign's will, Long Chen had repeatedly provoked the Falcon Eyed Elder, making him pour more and more God energy into Long Chen. Now the God energy had been purified of the God's will and was now pure energy, perfect for Dong Mingyu. Her body had a high level of compatibility with this energy. With this much energy, her combat power would rise to an even more terrifying level. Furthermore, with the killing gods will erased from it, the god seed could now begin to merge with Dong Mingyu's root chi. Dong Mingyu could already sense her spirit root going through some kind of transformation. As expected, fortune lies in danger. The bigger the gods, the bigger the reward. He, Long Chen smiled brightly. Once the god seed merged with Dong Mingyu's spirit root, she would possess her own god energy and would no longer need to pray for the god to descend. In other words, although Dong Mingyu had left the blood kill hall, she could still use the god's energy and could be considered a divine daughter. Long Chen and Dong Mingyu left seclusion. Long Chen thanked the high priest once more. If it hadn't been for the high priest, Long Chen would have had no idea how to remove the god seed. The high priest smiled and told Long Chen to be careful in the future saying that the enemies he could see weren't frightening. The really frightening enemies were those that you couldn't see. Although he was speaking in a veiled manner, Long Chen understood his meaning. After that, he brought Dong Mingyu home to say goodbye to his parents. Long Xiaoyu cried for a long time, saying that Long Chen and Dong Mingyu couldn't leave. Long Chen promised to come see her more in the future. It took a long time of comforting her for her to stop crying. Long Xiaoyu had actually formed a close bond with Dong Mingyu, asking her new little big sister to come and see her every year. Dong Mingyu smiled and promised. Even when Long Chen left, Tu Kianchang hadn't returned. Long Chen didn't know where that fatty had gone off to play. He hadn't sent back any word. Sitting through transportation formations, they returned to the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race. There, Hujinying, the old man and the others were already waiting for him. Seeing Dong Mingyu was fine, Meng Qi and the others sighed with relief. Hu Jinying wished to speak with Long Chen. As Meng Qi and the others weren't interested in this talk, they pulled Dong Mingyu away. After the trip to the Grand Xia, Dong Mingyu was no longer so afraid of strangers. Getting along with Meng Qi and the others was no problem. The high priest really is amazing. He even has a method to undo the curse of a god. Seeing Dong Mingyu leave, Hu Jinying couldn't help sighing. In truth, Hu Jinying and the others hadn't had any hope that Dong Mingyu would live. After all, that was a god's curse. Even if there was someone who could undo it, who would be able to bear the karma of the god's retribution? However, the high priest had done it. Alliance head, old man, did you come here to discuss something? Asked Long Chen. They had clearly been waiting for him. Do you know the matter of the Four Divines writ? Hu Jinying got straight to the point. Yes, I know of it. I even had some unpleasantness with them in the Grand Xia this time. Long Chen shrugged helplessly. 
Was there a conflict? Asked Ku Jinying. It doesn't count as a conflict exactly what happened. I just killed someone from the divine family's outer branches, said Long Chen. What Ku Jinying and the others were shocked. The large sect leaders who had come with Ku Jinying gasped. Actually, this isn't my fault. They wanted to kill my friend. I naturally couldn't let them get away with that. Long Chen gave a simple explanation of how they had supported the Grand Han in causing trouble for the other three great nations. Fool, why would you kill them? Ku Jinying held her head. The divine family's outer branches were essentially the representative of the divine families. They were the only ones capable of communicating with the true divine families. If those people from the outer branches decided to report back what had happened with some extra details, it would be troublesome. In any case, he's already dead. Let them do as they please. You still haven't answered me though. What did you need to discuss with me? Asked Long Chen. The old man laughed. There was something, but now I don't think it'll happen. You're laughing? You old bastard. You raised a little bastard. You're trying to worry me to death. Raged Ku Jinying. The old man chuckled and didn't say anything. He stealthily gave Long Chen a thumbs up. He approved of Long Chen's style but he couldn't support it openly. Seven days from now, the outer branches of the divine families will host a gathering. All the large powers are to send representatives to discuss how we will defend against the blood race's invasion. We wanted you to go, but now, Ku Jinying shook her head helplessly. Chapter 2220 D Feng's patience currently on the entire martial heaven continent. The person with the greatest fame was Long Chen. He was a figure who had managed to suppress the apex figures of the largest powers on the continent. In the battle in front of the yin-yang world, he had killed two emperor heirs and then fought the heroic spirits of those emperors. He was someone who called a sovereign brother. If it weren't for the fact that he wore black robes, he would be the one acclaimed to have the highest chance of becoming a sovereign. The entire martial heaven continent was discussing Long Chen and the Dragon Blood Legion. There were some other legions amongst the various factions of the continent, but the Dragonblood Legion's name was so resounding that the other legions were completely drowned out. The Dragonblood Legion was claimed to be the number one legion on the Martial Heaven continent. However, no one dared to call themselves the number two legion because the difference between them and the Dragonblood Legion was just far too great. They couldn't be compared. It could be said that this battle had made Long Chen's fame reach an unprecedented level. Thus, Ku Jinying had been thinking of sending Long Chen as the representative of the Martial Heaven Alliance for the gathering held by the Divine Families. As soon as she had received this information, she had come to the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's territory so that she could pass this information to Long Chen. She had wanted him to be prepared and not have any conflicts with the Divine Families. However, who would have thought that Long Chen would waste no time in forming an enmity with the Divine Families? Not only that, but he had even killed one of them. That was big trouble. Now she didn't dare to allow Long Chen to attend the gathering. She was sure that with Long Chen's character, if the outer branches of the Divine Families tried to cause trouble for him during the gathering, Long Chen would flip the table. That was why the old man had said that although they had come to discuss something, there was no longer any need to. All right, I'll send Ling Shen. Ku Jinying felt a headache coming on. Although Yi Ling Shen was powerful and had a certain reputation amongst the Martial Heaven Alliance, Ku Jinying was worried that she was still too young. Others might take advantage of her. As for Long Chen, he was an old fox. He was best suited for handling such a thing, but he couldn't go. Ku Jinying didn't know where she could release the frustration she felt. The original plan had crumbled. She could only send Yi Lingxian. Yet she was also worried about her. Long Chen smiled. Lingxian's charisma as a leader is constantly growing. She'll be fine. In the worst case, my Dragonblood Legion will send a few people to help Lingxian. Long Chen knew what Ku Jinying was thinking. As the elder, who wanted their children to be bullied by others? This upcoming gathering would definitely be rife with schemes from multiple wily old foxes. Alliance head, what is the intention of the divine families? Are they going to take the lead in the dark era? Asked Long Chen. Yes, everyone heard what Sovereign Moli said. The sovereigns are already gone, so we cannot depend on their protection. 
Perhaps this is why the divine families finally came out, to gather the continent's power to face the invasion of enemy races. We have to borrow the power of the divine families. This is a good thing, Long Chen. It would be best if you didn't mess around, warned Ku Jinying. Long Chen shook his head. Alliance head. It's not that I'm messing around but that others want me dead so I have to fight back. Also, I should warn you that there are traitors within the Martial Heaven continent. I personally witnessed people trying to destroy the Sovereign Seal. However, they're too powerful. So I won't bother saying who it was, as no one would believe it anyway. They would just throw dirty water on me in retaliation. It's meaningless in truth. Long Chen had no intention of mentioning Pill Valley's behind-the-scenes actions. He felt a scheme growing. The more people that knew, the easier they would be implicated. However, Long Chen still decided to warn Ku Jinying. She couldn't trust others. As a result, Ku Jinying and the others' expressions changed. But they didn't ask who it was. That was taboo. The atmosphere grew tense. The gathering the divine families are holding. My dragon blood legion won't be attending. If the continent is in trouble, as a member of the continent, we will fight. But as for fighting alongside old enemies, that is a huge joke. The dragon blood legion would rather fight to the death than hug those filthy hearted bastards, said Long Chen. It didn't matter who was directing the battle. The Dragon Blood Legion would not be fighting alongside Pill Valley, the Corrupt Path, the Schwen Beasts, or the others. They would not fight while worried about being stabbed in the back by the others. Fine, I understand. Ku Jinying nodded. She knew Long Chen's character. Ku Jinying left with her people. After that, Mo Nian and Lu Zongying also said goodbye to Long Chen. They had been worried about Long Chen, so Mo Nian had stayed until he returned. Mo Nian left to focus on his realm as his cultivation base had reached the ninth vestige of life star. Now everyone needed to comprehend their own Tao of life and death. I'm starting to feel some pressure with how much stronger you're getting. I'll also work hard so that I can comprehend life and death faster. When both of us break through Nether Passage, we'll go plunder the corrupt god cemetery. Mo Nian gave Long Chen some parting words as he left with Lu Zongying. With the Dark Era on the verge of coming, everyone needed to work hard on advancing. Only with great power could they survive the upcoming battles. Once everyone left, Guo Ran and the others surrounded him. Boss, the Huaian sect has just sent word. Di Feng has awakened his spirit blood, said Guo Ran. Really? Him? Long Chen was startled. Di Feng's talent was not on the level of someone who could awaken their spirit blood. Was it the divine families who had interfered again? Not only that, but the blood emperor's figure has appeared within his manifestation, merging with his original manifestation. It's a never-before-seen manifestation throughout all of history. The Huaian sect's information says that Di Feng's power has climbed to the point that it might have surpassed Shu Aluich's, said Guo Ran. Could it be a scheme? Guo Ran slapped his leg. A scheme? Boss, that really does seem to be it. I didn't quite understand before why Di Feng would marry Shu Aluicha. Even if his mother was a pig, he shouldn't have been forced to stoop so low. Although Di Feng was no good cookie, he was attractive and a genius. Why would he marry someone as ugly as Shu Aluicha? For Di Feng to awaken his spirit blood and gain Shu Aluicha's manifestation after her death, there was definitely something suspicious going on. Was it dual cultivation? Supplementation Gu Yang patted the back of his head with an odd expression. Boss Gu Yang, let's not use such a disgusting word. Imagining it is too disgusting. Song Mingguan and the others shuddered. For someone to have such restraint and patience, he's quite the figure. Long Chen nodded. He hadn't thought that Di Feng's patience was so great. He would be a tough opponent. Did the report say anything else? No. Just to be careful. Zheng Wenlong's guess is that Di Feng made up for his own lacking areas thanks to Shu Aluicha and will only continue growing stronger, said Guo Ran. What about the other powers? Have they made any moves? No. It seems that all the experts are in seclusion. They are focused on comprehending life and death to attack the Nether Passage realm. After all, whoever advances first will have the power to sweep away the others. No one wants to waste a second. Boss. You should go into seclusion as well, or if the pill fairy, Tianzizi, Kun Pengzi, 
and the others advance first. None of us will be able to stop them. In the same realm, Long Chen didn't fear anyone. But if others advanced to Nether Passage first and gained control over life and death energy, the Dragonblood Legion would be in danger. All the large powers were lying low. The silence on the continent was frightening as countless geniuses were preparing to advance to Nether Passage. So Long Chen also had to hurry and advance. That was the most important thing. This would decide the life and death of the Dragonblood Legion. Long Chen said, I can advance to Nether Passage whenever I want. But now isn't the time. I want all the Dragonblood warriors to advance to the Nether Passage realm together. Together. Guo Ran and the others didn't quite believe their ears. Yes. We'll go through it together. This is the way that has the highest chance of survival. Otherwise. It would be lucky if even half of us survive a trip to the Netherworld. Other than that. Long Chen shook his head. Well. There's no need for me to say much. Just focus on being ready to advance. Long Chen wanted to say that he would probably have a much more difficult time in the netherworld. That was because he had once taken a nail from the gates of hell. The laws of the netherworld had probably memorized his spiritual fluctuations. He also had some bad relationships with the nethergod. Len Yuian had schemed against her. Hence, his advancement would have a high chance of death. Long Chen could only hope for Len Yuian. If she could let them, then things could go smoothly. But he had no idea where Len Yuian was. As a result, he had no choice but to gamble. He refused to allow half the Dragonblood warriors to die in the Netherworld. Either everyone advanced or they all died together. Long Chen asked about the original Devil Race as well. And Guo Ran said that they were completely safe. The original Devil Race had temporarily sealed the connection between the skyscraping world and the Martial Heaven continent. The skyscraping world could now only be entered through the wild world, while the wild world could only be entered through a transportation formation in the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. They were absolutely safe. With the divine families coming out, they definitely couldn't allow anyone to catch the original devil race. Hearing that they were fine, Long Chen was at ease. Long Chen began to refine a large number of nethergate pills for the sixth star. He wanted to hurry and finish the nine star transformations. However, on the third day of his refining, a piece of news reached him. The sea demon race had started attacking the continent with their reasoning being that Long Chen had insulted the sea demon race. So they were getting their revenge against the human race. 